Hi. Well, I've got... Ay, yo, that's one ugly dog, man, can't even lie. Uh, excuse me. What? It's not like it can hear, man. Yes, but... Well, maybe it can hear, man, but it's stupid. It can't understand, man. Anyway, how can man help? He's been really down lately. His energy is low. He's constantly tired. I'm really worried about him. Has man got bit... You mean like a partner? Yeah, but a female one. No, he doesn't. Don't lie, sounds like a serious case of NBB. NBB. Straight up. What's NBB? It's a very specific medical term we use for no bunda blues. No bunda blues. Yeah, I can't even lie. Man experienced it personally. It can be peak. Right. What was his symptoms? Tired. No energy, ear droopiness. Yeah, that man experienced droopiness as well. Just elsewhere. I right, man recommends you find him a gal. What? Well, no. It's Imagine just... if some dusty you took you into his house and you didn't even ask for it, and then keeps you from finding a man. You wouldn't like it, would you? Right. Are you not even gonna take a look at him? I right, man's gonna be honest with you, Mademoiselle. Ita. Man's already taken too many looks at that clap thing. <sighs> Thank you, thank you. Hi, must be Mr. David. It's nice nah, to Nah, that's his mumsy surname still, man. That's that dead thing time ago. I see. Well, Frederick, how would you say you're finding this year so far? Um, pretty Sam, good. This is parents' evening, not Frederick's evening. Okay, well, I think Frederick is struggling in class quite a lot lately. On a test last week, he got 4 out of 30, and then on the retake, he got 6 out of 30. See, mums? Well, it is an improvement. Shut up, improvement. That's like taking a dump on the floor, and then next time taking a dump on the toilet seat and saying that you improved your accuracy. It's the same shit. Well, it's definitely not not something we can't work on. Well, yeah, next time man can aim for in the toilet. And uh, no, I mean in the tests. Oh. Anyway, on a separate note, I think it is fair to say Frederick is quite disruptive in class, and we have spoken about that a couple of to times. To boys or to gal uh, Mostly to girls, but since we changed the seating plan... My G. <laughs> You want to end up like a man? No. What? Why not? No, I mean I do, I do. Why would you want that? I don't know. Bloopers filming a 600 million view video. Yeah, what? What, cuz? The what? wall bear chatting you shit. You want some of that? Yeah, what do you say, blood? You yeah, what? <laughs> what a weirdo. Oh. I have a book yetted at my head. That was close. So ninja skills Ouch on man, that head. So, this question one, what dickhead the line. <laughs> So, question one, what dickhead is So, question one, what dick? So, dickhead. What? Alright, first exercise, push-ups. Any cheating? You know what's coming. Yeah! And didn't say to go yet. <laughs> But I can't lie, darling, you look like you could do with a push-up or two. A man ain't on about the exercise. <laughs> Aight, who wants to demonstrate the perfect push-up? Yeah, you. Einstein wasn't really known for his physique, but yeah, let's see it. Man don't know what you man been watching on the internet, but it definitely ain't Joe Wick's fitness. Listen up! Like this. Straight body, no twerking, no humba bumba bumba tumba, just down and up. Yes, my G, show it. And the thing goes Putovnica, molly vas. Osobna putovnica bila. Big man, no stop posto, you may as well be talking Chinese. Identification. Man's already on the island. What are you gonna do if it's fake? Send man back to the mainland. Daj, ste pereci nešto ovom majmunu jebate. Što je? Hvala. Ajo, big man, where can man get some food? Food. Ajo, what are you saying, big man? Aj, listen, man's trying to get some peng bread, you know. Eh, daj. Carlo Doji, Dosho Neki, Americano. Nah, 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 Americano, nothing, man's from London. Hello, my friend, how I can help? Well, go on, man's trying to get some Leng Munch, some pink bread in it. I bust man that pastry and that cross on, yeah? Well, got it, you understand? What are you brother? I just got two of them. Yo, yo, yo. And that's the main one, yeah? But you're really good. Hey, yo! Can we have a mother's meeting later? Man's trying to get a bottle of water and some pink... Did you hear me say a bottle of water? Alright, nah, that's it. Hey yo, everyone in the room, shut up! Man doesn't want to be here, you man don't want to be here, so let man make this simple for you man, yeah? When man talks, you shut up. When you talk, you shut up. You flipping dusty use. Man like Mr. Fiddlesticks ain't here today, he's probably busy linking some hole, but he put on here that he's on maternity leave. Oh, it's a woman. Oh shit, my bad. Hey, register! Tariq we. Tariq. Do you want man to clap your head, Tariq we? No. Do you want to do the register? That's what man thought. James. Uh, 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 James. Man said you can't read your own flipping name. It's pronounced James. Man, I don't care, James. I would know what name my mama gave me. Don't make man tell you what your mum gave man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right there, boss. Man's got a question for you. I don't want to ask a question! Alright, fine, good luck then. No, no, okay, I'll answer the question! 
You want to end up like man? Do you want to end up like man? Linking some next thing every week to eventually end up living on your own with some dusty you that you're not even sure if it's yours. I think you are man. But that's beside the point. It will only turn off once you've taken 30 steps. Wait, can I my Ah, you can still. Man did it with your mum as well. I thought you said she left. Nah, I swear that was a different thing. I man's not even sure, you know. What's the app? It's called Alarmy. You can just set any mission and the alarm won't turn off until the mission is complete. Get it by clicking the thing on man's profile. No, she's in there though. <laughs> What's your problem, fam? Where's my English teacher? Wagwan, Wagwan, welcome to man's talk show, Chatty in the Dark. Today on the show, we've got this dickhead. Z dots. Yeah, yeah, get high, dickhead. Chatty in the dark. Hey, bruv, you think you can chat shit to me? Hey, man's joking. Relax your bunda. <laughs> okay, brother. So you're a driller, yeah? Yes, bruv. I'm a driller. Bruv! What, fam? Are you fucking serious? Does it look like man's not being serious? Stupid shit! Man's a driller like a musician! Oh, oh, so you rap, you make songs on that, yeah? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Alright then, spit some bars right now. Of course, bruh! Come on then. Be Rambo, in the Lambo. Yesterday I went to Nando's. Yo, yesterday I got fish fillet and fries. My dad left me, then he said goodbye. Alright, right, come on, we get the point. I do the trapping. Sam, shut I'm up! The block. My man is right, go for yesterday an address. Oh, yo, what are you saying, B man's here to get the vax, innit? Yeah, so is everyone, love. You can just go away over there for me, please. Oh, yo, what are you saying, babes? You here for the vax, yeah? What? Oh, yo! J2 Trappy? Yeah, yeah. Would you like to come through, please? Come on, let's go. Hi, Jay. If you'd just like to pop your trousers down, please, that'd be love. No, man, we didn't lie. Are you mad? Don't worry, it's just for medical purposes only. I won't look. So why does man need to do it, then? Um, if you could just give me a right arm, please. Sam, why is it green? Man said you slap bare avocado smoothie in there or something. Oh, don't worry. It's just a combination of circular molecular light, oxydioxide, bicarbonate of disoda. <laughs> Guacamole thing. Okay, whenever you're ready. Three, two, there we go. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah. I can't lie, it's calm. Hello, good afternoon. This is O2 Customer Services. You're speaking to Jeffrey. Yes, How can man, I help? No, to... Upgrade this dusty phone and quick. Okay, are you calling from the phone you'd like to upgrade? Obviously. Right, so we can offer you the new Galaxy. Oh, no dusty Androids, Apple only. Okay, let me just pass you on to my colleague who deals with Apple products. <sighs> Hi, O2 customer service. Mrs. You're speaking yes, to... Yes, man, didn't think it was man's dad coming back from getting the milk. Just tell man how to get iPhone 11. Okay, well, we're going to need you to answer a security question. So what was the name of the first road you lived in? Man, man wasn't even old enough to wipe man's own bunda. How's man supposed to know? Oh. Okay, and what is the birthplace of... Is this the chase? Okay, let, let me just pass you on to the contract Don't negotiation put my team. Oh. oh, my days. You men are... Hi, are we have the iPhone 11 on special offer today? How are you doing today, my lovely? I'm fine, thank, thank you. you. So we could offer you unlimited data, texts and calls, free handheld device for £64 a month. Is that your idea of a special offer? That's what we, we have on offer. You can take your handheld device and shove it up your window. And man ain't on about the devices you can get from O2 or Vodafone for that matter. So man's been chatting to this Croatian guy lately and she's like, oh, I'm so happy you're not Croatian because all these Croatian boys do is break my heart. <laughs> Who is going to tell poor girl? So a man's not, man's not a dickhead. Today we are bestowing with thou Shanice and ITD Trappy. Yeah, yeah, nice one be wifey and that, yeah? We gather here today in our union to unite two individuals who found peace in their love, correct? Come to man's shift, yeah. Was you talking to man? ITD Trappy, do you take Shanice to be one's lawfully wedded wife? Yeah, yeah, man does still. And do you, Shanice, take ITD Trappy to be one's lawfully wedded? Ayo, we big man, can we just cut to the man does and the man doesn't? You mean the I do? Fam, can we just marry already? Man's trying to wife this gal and bounce. You know what I mean. Word, where's the ring, fam? Uh, your best man was supposed to bring it. Fam, man's not moving fruity like that. Man said best man, you know, man's only got holes. Did you just say hoes? Hey, hey, yo, Shanice, hello! Hey, yo, big man, does man like Liz live here? Like, like the queen, yeah? Alright, fine then, in a bit, big man. Man, where is your drip, though? Does it come in men's sizes? Ah! Alright then, say nothing, man's going in. That's what she said. Fam, what's the point of all this? Is anyone even home? No gal them, no drinks. Oi! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, it's her! Oh, good evening. Ayo, what are you saying, B? Oh, I'm still alive. You're right about that one, I can't lie. Thank you for making me feel so old. Aye, babe, the truth hurts, innit? Oh, 
Really? Yeah, yeah. All right, man, race the crib, you know. You got bare pieces, bare nice. Yeah, the chairs. Get out. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, man, like Karen and that. Take them wax strips, darling, so I them cross the eyebrows and that. Who's calling, man, now? Are you who this? Oh, fuck! Can I help you? How'd you get man's number? I spoke to your manager. Man don't got no manager. Whatever, what are you doing in my house? Actually, you know what, darling? That's a good question, that. It's kind of clapped in here. I can't lie. Oh, uh, excuse me. How did you even get in? Man came down the chimney. Hey, yo, Rudolph, wait for man, yeah? Man just needs to finish with this batty girl. I slapped her on the naughty list for next year, yeah? You know what? I'm getting really fed up with you. Allow it. Wag one, you dusty you. Yo, what's good, bro? Man said you're browsing man's locker still, fam. Are you mad? Is this yours? Are you trying to finesse man's shit? No, bro. I mean, you've got some dapper stuff, but no, no. Move no. away from man's locker before man busts out the shank. Yeah, yeah, bro. I got you. Don't get caught lacking again, because big man tank next time, man's not going to be so calm about you're it. Slaying that outfit. I've got to give it to you. Get out of here, fam. What the fuck? Hey, you fruity dickhead. Come here. Yesterday I posted this news broadcast skit and a lot of you wanted to know how long it took me to make so here's the 20 second explanation 3, 2, 1, go First, the laboratory shot I got my mum's dressing gown, a blue plastic bag and several face masks stood in front of a green screen and pretended to take a wee Then I individually filmed water trickling into a beaker put the two shots into an editing program removed the green screen and put them together so it literally looks like I'm taking a piss As for the final shot I lay in my bed and I stuck headphones up my nose Phenomenal First newsreader, Danny Wilkinson a shirt, tie and a blazer floats his goat As for Margaret Crumpets my mum's coat, my mum's scarf and my grandma's hat for her sticks. All done within an hour and a half. Finish by standing in front of the very building. The I yo, walk one, yeah. Sorry, man's late. Where's man sitting? Just over there on Heather, old calm, boy. Calm. What's this peng munch, you know? Uh, yes, dig in, old boy. What is it? Still, one does ask a lot of questions there to young scallywag. Ha <laughs> ha. Roast pigeon with sauteed kale and broccoli. Hey, man's not trying to be rude or anything, but that's mad clap. This dickhead fam. Clapped like dead. Have you man not got any chicken? Ha ha ha! Chicken! One hasn't consumed chicken since the olden times, isn't that right, darling? Ah, oh, right you are, Harold. Hey, I can't lie, man's not hungry still. You lot are some different gravy, fam. Theodorus, get him some gravy. No, fam. Man said Theodorus. This dickhead's not even ready. Wog one, you dusty you. You want some smoke, yeah? Where are you running away like some weasel, you know? Man needs to tell you something about your mum still. Now sit there like a good little boy and listen to man carefully. Aye, that's it. Yeah, that's what man thought now. Look at man. Listen to man, you little weasel. Man is your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm shot up. You sound like a dying pig, fam. Bug one, dickhead, get your homeworks out. Uh, dearest professor. Here we go, you clapped, you'd come on, let man hear your dead excuse. Uh, one's dog species at home may or may not have consumed one's homework. Man's back. gonna consume you if you don't stop tratting shit. Sir, there's nothing one could have done to prevent this. So you did the homework, yeah? Yes, sir, it was in Great. one's... get your bund up and answer some questions for all these other dusty youths. Uh, sir, is that really quite necessary? And have some thought all day. So, question one, what dickhead discovered the thing where if you jump off the top of the building you come crashing down onto your bunda on the ground? Charles Darwin. Ten minutes detention. No, no, Britney Sp Einstein. Oh, make that twenty minutes. Minutes. This is looking peak for you, my driller. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. 30 minutes. Man's not a dickhead. And what did he discover? Gravity. Ra, not that brain dead after all. And what is gravity? A movie. Lord Einstein, save me. Prime Minister Boris Johnson announces potential third national lockdown. Are you flipping joking? What is he doing in here? So you're telling man Bordeaux's planning a third lockdown and we ain't even come out of this one yet? Get security in here right now. Boris Johnson also encourages that we don't hug our grandparents to protect them this Christmas. Ah, uh, you know what? Man's gonna chill all alone for Christmas. No gal then. Man won't even buy a tree so that Covid don't spread through the branches. Are you gonna do something? And you know what? Man won't even put the fireplace on because when Santa Claus comes down the chimney, he might fart and spread it to all the reindeers and next thing you know, all the elves got COVID too. And you know what? Move your pink ass, Margie. Move up. This Christmas, man like Mojo says we should hug our grandparents because they're probably more lonely and depressed than ever when all they can do all day every day is sit at home and watch bullshit TV shows like this one and listen to who's dying, who's dead and who's gonna die. Fuck this bullshit fam. No, it's too expensive. Please, why are you saving up? It's the last time I'm going to say, put that away. Oh, my friends have it. <laughs>
How many times will it take for your mom to say no to get engraved in your dusty, squeaky head? Excuse me, who's the parent here? Man, don't know, but you can call man daddy any day. <sighs> come, Fido, let's go, come Does on. Have my toy? No toys, you've got enough at home. <laughs> Fair, I saw you bought a new toy for yourself yesterday. Ah. Uh. What? Yeah, some woman called Anne Summers sold it to you on eBay. Ooh. I saw the email. Hey. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, man's got a point still. You can't be buying all them action men for yourself, innit? You know what? I've had enough. Yeah, I have pocket money as well. What's you got? £2.50. Big man, the only thing you can buy in Toys R Us with three fifty is a visit to the toilet. And judging by your face, man, we keep the spare change still. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> So, which of you man can name a musician from, his from history? What about D? Right, that's enough. These are drillers. Man's going to show you some real musicians. Are you trying to say Digger D and Dave aren't real musicians? Word for Man's going to show you some legends. Pre-man like Ludwig van Beethoven. Man was deaf. Cap. Hell no. That's cap. Nope. Straight facts, my drillers. So, you're telling me he never heard his own shit? Yep. I suppose man's never heard of a hairbrush either. Well, the Galdem rated him for his tunes, not his trim. Word. Next up, Johann Bach. Man had 23 children. What? Why now? That's Ha nope, also facts, my G. Man must have had bare gyal. Nope, actually, man only had two gyal. 23 kids with two <laughs> gyal. That's raw, peak for her, you know. You know what's peak? Elton John. Mad shock for the wifey after 20 years. She clocked man was moving fruity the whole time. What? He had a man? Phil Schofield ting. I know. Imagine having a man for time. Then you clocked. He never even liked you. That's peak, mm, you know. Word, fam. If you say word or cap one more time, I'm going to clap your head. Cap. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Stop. <sighs> Alright, so today man's gonna be taking you man through some moves and Cory. <laughs> Let man make this clear. Any throwing it back and you're getting thrown to the back of the class. Is man clear? That's what man thought. So, who wants to go first? Hello. Bella, alright, come up, let's see it. Your song is Body Remix. <laughs> You seen the state of her body? Man. If I beat it out wearing a Johnny <laughs> Adiola, I wanna roll with the geese. Is it nah, me nah, on nah, the nah, stop, 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 stop. No flipping TikTok shit. This ain't no Adias of Bryce, Beck, Chixie, Dixie, Chase, Hoodie, none of that. Wait, no, it? get out. Next up, Steve. Let's go. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me? I want you, baby. My sugar boo. <laughs> you don't want nobody, baby. Sick and tired of this tune, fam. Ay, are you mad? Stop whacking man's van. Are you man mad? Do you man want a 99 flake or 99 kicks up your bunda? 99 flake? Yeah, that's what man thought. So take those dusty hands off man's van before man tells your mumsy, you know. You don't even know her. Is that what you think, yeah? That's what I know. Alright, big man, whatever you think, let's just say man's giving your mum one or two King Magnum. <laughs> Can I get a Mr. Whippy, please? Man's gonna whip you, mister. Get to the back of the queue. <laughs> Can I get a 99 flake, please? Of course, my G. And can I get a cornetto? No problemo. Tell your mum I'll give her her ice cream later on. <laughs> so there's the TV in the living room. He don't watch cartoons. He? There's chicken in the fridge and I've left spare clothes and the change of nappies in case things really get messy. Nappies? Messy? Sam, what do you think that's going to do? Hey, yo, bullet, hey! Sam, shut up here. Just watch some YouTube or some shit. Hi, sisters. No, James not that, not that. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, nothing. Listen, man's gonna be over there, just shout if you need something, yeah? Alright, uh, you know what? Let man slap on a horror for you. We'll see how much you wanna scream, yeah? The Walking Dead, Amazon Prime Video, the maddest show you'll ever see, big man. Watch this, watch this. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Are you flipping mad, cunt? Aye, man's the one who should be screaming, fam. I now. Wag one. To dip. Wait. That's fucking clapped, isn't it? Philip Bussman and you, T, will you? Anyway, today, man celebrates man's 95th. After the camera's cut, man's throwing an absolute madness party and getting absolutely smashed. Bear man are coming to man's crib, but man has one message to say. Man put bear snap stories and IG stories. If man sees any dusty utes phoning the feds, man will have you assassinated. Happy birthday to man. This is BT Internet Customer Service. Yeah, man knows who it is, fam. Man didn't just Google BT Internet Customer Service and expecting Kentucky Fried Chicken Saturday meal delivery service. How can I help? You can help by fixing man's internet, fam. What seems to be the problem, sir? The problem is that it don't work. Okay, let me just pass you on to my colleague Jemima. Man, she works in the internet department. No, fam! Ring, 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 ring. 
and a phone. Hello, this is BT Internet. Customer yeah, that's service what the last hacker. brethren said. How can I help, sir? Man's internet is broke. Have you tried turning oh, it off? Oh, for no one. Yes, man's tried already. Man's not a dickhead. Man's got a GCSE. Don't take the well, piss. before we continue, we need to ask you a security question, if that's all right. Yeah, what? What is your mother's maiden name? How's man supposed to know? Not a problem. Next question. What, what do was you the mean, next question, fam? This ain't who wants to be a millionaire. Man just wants to listen to some tunes and watch some videos. Okay, sir, let me pass you on to my colleague, Gertrude. He works in the music and video up. department. Man's going virgin. Bun, you lot. Nah, not like that, fam. Mr. Coleman? MC Trappy to you, man. Mademoiselle to you, Mr. Trappy. So, Peter, how would you his say... His name you... is Alex. Say mums. Alex Pristine. Oh, shit, yeah, man's bad. Hey, right, he looks like this other dusty from man's other class. They, they, they look similar, like... Like, the same nose and shit. Not the hair, obviously. Hey, right, big man, how would you say you're finding this year? It's quite hard. That's what your mum said to man. You know what? I've had enough of you. Yeah, man's had enough of you, man. All these dusty, snotty youths coming with their crusty mums and dads, wasting man's evening chatting to man as if it's going to make any difference to their future. Well, perhaps we can discuss the issues. What would you like to discuss? I don't want to be an engineer. Oh, a zookeeper? Yeah. That's a lovely job. Well, at least you get daily practice at that at home. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just say your local zookeeper will find that man's got an escaped baboon. <laughs> You disgust me! Oh. Hi, air number four, please. No shit, it's number four. You're the only car in the entire parking lot, man. Certainly didn't think it was number 52. Right, yeah, okay. And why are you holding your credit card? Well, I'm gonna pay by card. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Well, yes, I am. It's a minimum payment of 30 quid. No, but I did fill up 30 pound of petrol. Uh, you know what? Go on then, darling. You pay by card, yeah? Read it out for me, darling. You look like you got a GCSE in literacy, innit? Man's got all three of them. Card declined. Hmm. You're very smart, you know. No, but I did fill up £30 pound of petrol. No, you filled up £29.97. Oh, you can just let it pass. No, man can't. If your smart ass didn't stand at the pump like some schmuck going in and out with the tin, going, trying to get it really accurate on 30 quid, going in and out, in and out really fast. You would have gone over 30 pound and you would have been able to pay back on. Right. So cash or card, my lovely. Cash. Thank you very much. Have a splendid day. Next, please. What, my number six, please. As for the exercise we're going to be doing today is mountain climbers. So you want to get the... Yeah, big man, what do you want? Should we pack our bags? What for? For mountain climbing. Oh my. You know what? Yeah. Uh, go pack your bags and also tell the headmaster to help you get ready. Okay. So, get down into this position. Bring your knees as high Why are they called mountain climbers? Why do you think, dickhead? Certainly not because it looks like you're taking a dump. <laughs> Who wants to do the first demo? Go on then. <laughs> Look, straight back, butt down. No flipping Nicki Minaj, Bush, Khalifa, Bundus, Maximus in the sky. Why is this student under the impression he's going mountain climbing tomorrow? <laughs> Today was your last day at this job. And last night was your last night with your gal. <laughs> She'll be busy practicing mountain climbers tonight with man. <laughs> How to announce that Donald Trump is out of office for any UK news show. Begin in the studio reporting for the 164th time this year that today marks the day President Trump leaves the White House. Then put up the most ridiculous picture of the president and give his emotional leaving statement. I lost, but I didn't lose. Nobody loses the way I lose. And proceed to head over to the international correspondent who is live in New York, DC. Finish by standing in front of American protesters, unsure whether they're anti-Trump, pro-Biden, or simply vegan activists, but conclude that the nation's future is now in a new man's hands. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News. Truly am becoming agitated with this game. Wagwan? Man's not gonna lie, you've been on that ting all day. Come and chill with what them. What an astonishing move. Well played, old boy. Ayo, dickhead. Yes, old boy? Man ain't old, so don't be chatting shit. That's first. And second, come and chill with the man them. You're bare being a loner over here and that. One is in game with everyone. Right, you're act pissing man off. Get your bunda in the living room with all the other fam. One is already playing with the whole family on video call. You're waffling, my G. Nope, one tells the truth and the truth only. It's an app called Bunch. Right, is that man like Grandad too trappy? Can man play among us? Yeah. Say less, my G. What about Roblox? Yeah. Hey, Bull Paul? Yeah. Call of Duty? Yes. Are you a dickhead? Yeah. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> All you gotta do is slap the button on man's profile.
Hi, excuse me, would you have these in a different size, Benny? Yes, of course. What size? I actually, wait, what's your horoscope sign? Uh, I'm a Gemini. Oh my, we are not compatible. Do you have any Taurus colleagues? I'm not really sure. I can just get the sign. OMG, not you being so pushy, I'm dead. Excuse me? Hi. Uh, first of all, are you a Taurus, Sagittarius, or a Leo? Uh, I am. Oh, perfect. If you could just leave me these in a the size 8. Also, put all of this behind the till. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll pay in a <laughs> second. Okay. And oh, oh, thank you, all my days. It's the kindness for me. Hi, babes, come on, let's go. Hey fam, who's Emma? Are you mad, cuz? What do you mean, who's Emma? Not you being so toxic, I'm dead. Hey, tell man now who's Emma before man patterns you, you know? Oh, gee, it's a banking app. It tells me all about my finances and budgeting, so I know how much I can spend on, like, fashion and stuff. Oh. You can get it by clicking here on my profile. That'll be £4,562.84. <laughs> not even Emma could save you. Maybe not Emma, but Annalise did last night and Chloe probably will tomorrow. <laughs> oh, and what are you laughing at? Are you trying to get chinged? Did you want these? Shut up, fam! Let's go! Okay, Sine, what do you want to eat? We have roast pig, roast boar, I catch it myself, fresh this morning. Big man, it's only 12 o'clock, are you mad? I get up at 6, drink marakia and I hunt, very easy. Man said you caught a pig and a boar this morning. Yes, he does that every day. We have freezer with all the pigs for cooking. So you're telling man you man have bare pigs and that in the freezer? Yes, we do. What do you do? Ah, uh, man's a roadman still. Roadman? What is this? Stato, we, we don't have roadmen in Balkans. That's because you man are not bad enough for it, not. Did you put the Ivar when you cook this? Yes, why? Is anyone listening to me? But I, but they don't cook it like this. Yeah, but we always do it like this with the Ivar. What's Ivar? Tata, is there any chips? Man, no chips. You eat real food for real men. So why is everyone ignoring me? Tata, my boyfriend just broke up with me. Why yes, on the record, no boyfriend here, yeah, but a boyfriend. Ayo! Is anyone listening to man? Because if you man don't shut up, man's gonna bust out a shank. You get out of my house before I show you real lamb shank. Wild one, today in South End, some dusty ute got shanked by the ops whilst man was linking some peng ting in the local chicken joint. Man's fam are bare triggered still, and the feds are on it, finding clues and that. Rona is spreading on a madness. Bear man are getting infected, and the government are chatting shit, saying man like Bojo can't be arxed and literally ain't about that life anymore. It's raps for Trump after man got removed on all socials. He's moving mad lately still after man got caught lacking last week. Now all man's galdim on the snap and IG are chatting with some next utes. Jonathan Two Trappy Teapots, ITD News. Are you a one? I don't know who you are. So why are you calling man then? I don't know what you want. Fam, you're like one of those dusty youths on Snap that adds man and then oxes who am I? You have a very particular set of skills. Oh yeah? Skills I have acquired over a very long career. What, you gonna ox if man had an accident last week? Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Are you threatening man? If you let my money go now, that'll be the end of it. Man doesn't have your money fam. I will not look for you. Okay. I will not pursue you. Yeah, good idea boss. But if you don't. Don't what? I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. How to give a snow report for any UK news show. Despite there being no more than two millimetres of snow on the ground, there will be heavy disruption to the Jubilee Line and National Rail Services, as well as schools cancelled and the M25 closed. Have a correspondent standing in the blistering snow and state that for some, these conditions are a chance to rejuvenate, but for many, it's a struggle like no other. Jonathan Teapots has the weather. Two steps to give a weather forecast. Number one, regardless of what you see out your window, in most parts, during the course of the day, there will be sunny spells. And finally, the white weather outside will affect most parts of the country and cause delay and disruption. I'm Jonathan Teapots. That was the weather. I yo, walk one, Liz. Hello. So basically, man's first demands as a prince are these three things. Archie. Man wants one of your dusty butler guys to do all of man's homework. Man wants you to buy a hair dye for H. You know, H man's dad. Yes, man. I do know him. Yeah, and also, man wants a double bed in case man brings home any Archie, jacket. Listen. Oh, and also get rid of Andrew, innit? We're not granting you royal position of prince. Oh, and also, man wants a PS... What? Hmm. <laughs> what? Ay, your dad, I beg you sort out this dusty you. Believe me, I've been trying that for years now. Ay, your mum, you do something then. Tell her you'll get Trump on her or something. Would you like me to get Andrew on you? <laughs>
Recently, I posted this video where a roadman goes on the Ellen show and a lot of you asked how I made it look so realistic. So here's a 20 second explanation, three, two, one, go. The key was in a green screen, so I screenshotted an empty chair from the studio as reference. I put a chair under my green screen and sat down at the same angle of the chair in Ellen's studio. I then found all of Ellen's quotes for the interview, wrote up a script, filmed it, removed the green screen and added in the roadman to the studio. I then masked out the parts of the roadman's arm and leg that are behind the chair and table to make it look 3D and added sound effects of the crowd to give a realistic studio ambience. You're a very, um... Uh, 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 what? A sexy guy, I know it, you don't need to say it, Don. <laughs> so over there you've got the Parmelant buildings are right next to them, that's Big Ben, that's bare famous. So you guys gave a building a name? Have you not heard of the Empire State Building? <laughs> yeah, but it's not like we called it a Frank or a Johnny. <laughs> Therefore, good thing you didn't call it a Johnny. A famous politician named Nico Omelano wanted to rename Big Ben to Big Ben Clock so it could be called BBC. Yeah, why would he want that? Man would have thought you know all about BBC. I know the British Broadcasting Company, the BBC and... Big Man, can you stop taking pictures for five seconds? <laughs> Pictures, stop! Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, you will be sorry, sorry. Who can name the current UK Prime Minister? It is Boris Johnson. Well done, big man. Respect. Can you name the French President? His man in France. No, but he doesn't have exactly. So done. shut up before my boost you across the sea so you can visit Le President yourself. Hey. <laughs> hey, yo, Wagwan Bojo, open up, big man. Who are you? Does man really have to spell it out for you, dickhead? Clapped red drip, dusty white beard, who's it gonna be, fam? I don't know who you are, go away. Fam, man Santa Claus, can you just let man do his job, yeah? Okay. Ay yo, Bojo, man knows if you're sleeping, you know. Man knows you've been a bad boy this year, I can't lie. Good morning. Are you high, blood? Do you realise it's 10pm at night? I have had some drugs. Is it? Like what? Lazoot or somewhere like that. Flipping neck, big man. No wonder you're on the naughty list. That was mean. Sorry, Bojo. Man's just doing his job. You got any wishes? Big fat boinder. Bruh, man like Bojo and that wants the ho, ho, ho for Christmas. See, I'll be on the road too tough, but I still got you with a lot. Hey, man, Ay, who's calling? Man, watch where you are. Uh, who's this 079 in man and that? You know man's busy! Hi, we're calling to discuss damages for your car accident you had a week ago. What car accident, fam? Why are you changing shit? We had a report that you had an accident at around 3pm in a Fiat Punto last week. <laughs> Man said Fiat Punto, you think man drives around in clapped whips and that? Uh, no. Man's got three Lambos parked out in the front in mint conditions. Still. Sir, we understand, so but... Don't be ringing man's number like that and chatting shit, cos if man catches you lacking again, it's gonna be wraps. We think you could be eligible to £30,000 in damages. So you know when it happened, yeah? Man literally called the wifey. Man said, baby, I love you. Do you need man's bank account number? Ayo! Oh shit! How to give an interview for any UK news show. Introduce the interview by giving the most general, meaningless statement, such as discussing where the nation's future lies. Margaret Crumpets is with Jonathan Teapots. And then proceed to blink for five seconds in a ceremony of nationwide awkwardness. Begin by talking in the most depressing voice possible as the camera zooms out to make sure that Jonathan Teapots, who is socially distanced 62.5 metres away, can fit in camera. During the interview, stare at each other and pretend to be intrigued by what the other person is saying, when in reality, all words are going in through one ear and out through the other as the interviewer just makes sure she doesn't forget her next question. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News, Bristol. Happy Father's Day, Daddy! Hey, what's that, fam? Why does it say Happy Birthday? Why is it pink, fam? It's Father's Day! The eight man's birthday! Not like you deserve anything for Father's Day, though. Hey, shut up, man. Knows you like your daddy. Just open it! Aye, what is it? You got man fresh crepes, yeah? <laughs> Aye, man's gonna be dripping. Say, mums, you got man. You mad for your funny or <laughs> Aye, everyone look here for a family picture, innit? <laughs> Shut up, family picture! <sighs> Aye, let me just edit it a bit, innit? Aye, relax, you're just gonna do that dusty trend where you give man a big forehead, innit? Can you act shut up, you know? Aye, man, that looks lang there, you know. How you do that? There's just an app called Prequel, you know. There's like loads of filters, and you can act, even edit like videos and like fix colours and stuff. You can get it by clicking the thing on my profile. <laughs> Period. Aye, look at you here, you know. Shut up, family picture. Are you mad? Aye, delete that. <laughs> I'm posting that on the gram. Man's gonna post you through the door if you don't delete that now. 
Hi, is this bus going to Lewisham? Nah, big man. It says Lewisham on the front of the bus because it ain't going to Lewisham. Oh, okay, so it's been diverted. Where's it going then? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get to Lewisham. No shit! Man thought you was trying to get to Uzbekistan. It's going to Lewisham. Oh, but you just said it's not going there. Sorry, I, I literally get on this bus every day. I work Yeah, okay, man didn't ask to hear your last story. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're sorry, but I forgot the oyster. No, oyster. <laughs> oyster, you ain't getting on man's bus. Oh, but please, I need to get home. Does man look like man's about to change man's mind? Uh... <laughs> Listen, big man, let man ask you a question, yeah? Did you forget to put your pants on today? Uh... No. Exactly, and do you think your ding dong pong would've appreciated it if you forgot? Probably not. Same thing on man's bus. No oyster, no bus. But it can be quite airy without pants, cos it's warm outside. That's a fair point, you know. Uh, ask man nicely. Uh, may I please get on the bus? No. <laughs> How to give a hospital news broadcast for any UK news show. Start with a news presenter standing in front of an ambulance and provide imagery to ensure that those who haven't had a panic attack today will certainly get one now. Interview a member of staff who is wearing 642 masks and an astronaut's helmet and provide them with a script full of terms such as concerning, fatal and critical to ensure that everyone at home watching is made to feel as if they're minutes away from death. And finish by summarising the devastating scenario and provide any depressing negative statement about the overwhelming national decline in health and the ever-weakening NHS. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News. Hi, how do you do? Hi. I hope your bunda is comfy. Mm. Uh, 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 yes, yeah, so, Olat, what do you do? A uh, 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 man's a president. See, mums, that's interesting. Uh, uh, Prime Minister, sorry. Are you nervous, babe? Uh, uh, no, uh, not at all. Ma man's calm still. <laughs> Man said calm still. Do you think you're from road or something? Uh, yes, man knows that. Street life. Yeah, what ends you from then? Uh, 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 man's mummy gave birth to man in a palace. <gasps> uh, uh, a small palace, only 18 bedrooms. Very mediocre, if you ask mm. me. Not like those clapped utes from regular houses. Um, excuse me. The man's joking, man's joking. I know, you're actually an arsehole. No, no, wait, please, I've got a, a poet. Hey, you know what? Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm eating my dinner and I'll eat yours too. So we got A for ox. Repeat after man. A for ox. A for ox. Next up, B for bunda. Repeat after man again. B for bunda. B for bunda. All right, C for sweet one. C for sweet one. D for di- Yeah, big man, what do you want? What's a sweet one? Like, say you're walking outside, yeah, and you see this lang yal, and she's got mad bunda. Yeah, that's a sweet one. Okay. So as man was saying, D for di- Yeah, come in. So class, how's ITD Trappy doing on his first day? What is that? Alphabet, innit? Miss, you're a sweet one, and you've got mad bunda. My guy. Well, go on, little man. Hello. Is it your first time flying? Uh, yeah. Did man tell you to do that? Oh, sorry. Now, have you been briefed about the exploding plane precautions? Uh, no. So basically, sometimes the engines just decide to explode, so you need to know the correct pose, how to survive the crash in case. Relax, man's joking. Engines uh, don't blow up. Thank you. Most of the time. You know your flight's leaving in one minute. <laughs> well, go on, little man. Take your jacket and your belt off, please. Anyone to get away from gentlemen Why are you staring at... Fam! Not like that, it's safety precautions. Safety precautions? Yeah, like to prevent explosions and shit. But the other guy just told me the plane won't explode. Yeah, the plane won't explode, but you might. No, I won't. Get your jacket and belt on the conveyor belt before man starts exploding. And you know your flight's left, by the way. What? <laughs> Aye, listen, man just gotta finish selling Lambos and that. Aye, listen, I man's gotta go. Yeah, wait for a minute. Aye, say that, say that. Well, go on, bus man. Hi, I was Jeez, wondering. man, like briefcase, you know. Hey, listen, man's got Rangers, Raris, Bentleys out the back. Man's got anything you want. Uh, I was actually looking for something a bit more affordable. ITD, you still haven't cleaned Janice's skid marks. Who's ITD? Never heard of him. Right. Anyway, for a big man like you, affordable starts are like a push, innit? Uh, actually, no, I'm looking to budget around £10,000. What? Are you mad? Um, sorry? What sort of clapped whips do you think man sells around these ends? Honda 1996, Fiat Punto. Well, I... More like Fiat Pusio. Well, I spoke to someone on the phone who said you have a red Skoda in stock. Who did you speak to? His name was Kevin. Kevin? He, he, he's a, uh, he, he, he's a dickhead, isn't it? Fair chatting shit. Ah, he's one of man's workers still. Hi there. Shit. Hi, are you Kevin? I am indeed. Um, ITD, the lavatory's ready for cleaning. Ah, uh, <laughs> man like Kevin with the banter and that, yeah? I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Man's very sorry for the inconvenience, innit? What are you playing at? Big man, if you don't mind, man's trying to help out a customer here. Go and clean the toilets. Hey, <laughs> this guy, you know. I'm gonna fire you. 
I'm sorry, who are you? I'm the manager. Man's the manager. You're fired. Dickhead, man, do you even want to work here anyway? I think I'm going to leave. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm... Look at this mess you've left me now. That's what your missus said to man last night. <laughs> What really went into this Roadman on I'm a Celeb video in 20 seconds? 3, 2, 1, go. First, I had to redesign the I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here logo intro thing into Man's a Roadman, Get Man Out of Here. Then make the full script between the Roadman and Anton Deck and find actual real life clips of Anton Deck saying the lines. Then film the Roadman lines, edit the green screen out, put the table and plate in, make his waistcoat red and finally correctly align Anton Deck's lines to follow the conversation. This is... Cocky Road Ice Cream. I now don't take the piss. Obviously it's a penis. Is man stupid? Recently, this hospital news skit video I made went pretty viral and a lot of you asked how I made such accurate news clips from my own bedroom. So here's the explanation in 20 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. This first one was the simplest. News shows love blurry upward facing videos, so getting a heart monitor on my screen and filming it was straightforward. For this main one, I needed blue gloves, but our kitchen sink pink ones were the best I could do. I got some hand sanitizer from the local pharmacy, booted up some sort of Excel spreadsheet on my computer, and on there was where the magic happened. This next shot is pretty self-explanatory. Who haven't had a panic attack today will certainly get one now. Interview a. How are you? Well, go on, what are you saying, little man? I've got the sniffles. And you think man's gonna be dealing with your boogers or what, fam? How are you? Yeah. Well, you're stupid if you think that. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up, fam, I beg you. <laughs> Zip it, you snotty kid! <laughs> you see that cupboard over there? There's a yellow bottle inside. Go and drink some of that, it'll help you with your dusty nose. Oh, okay. This flipping game, fam. Ah, uh, come on, fam. What did you do? Ayo, hey, Wagwan, Doc. Man gave him medicine, innit? Apparently, death is a side effect in extreme cases. That's cleaning detergent, not medicine. Say, mums. Right, it says cleans 99% of dirt, and my man had bare snot, you get me, bacteria and that. And I can't lie, man wasn't even focusing. This is the most addictive game man's ever played. So we got one, two, three. Repeat after man. One, two, three. One, two, three. At come. Now, how many bundas can you man see on the screen? One. Two. Who said two? Where do you see two, my guy? One, two. No, no, no. Those are cheat. Never mind. We all have one bunda and two cheat. We, we all have, have one bunda and two Yeah, yeah, okay. No need to repeat that bit. All right, next. How many cherries have we got? Two. Correct. And how many... Yeah, come in. Hi, how's maths going with ITD? What are those? Aubergines, surely you're familiar with these, miss? Miss, do you have two or four cheeks? Uh, oh, hey, Alexa. Hey, yo, wag one, you dickhead. Um, excuse me, manos. Do you think you're bare funny like all these other men? Just calling man's name all the time, oxing man the same shit. Alexa, can you swear? Well, can you? Dickhead, obviously man can fucking swear. Can you just tell me what time is my meeting with Kate tomorrow? I ain't got a clue still, man can't lie. Well, I saved it so it should be in the free storage. I can't lie, you look like you've got a bit of free storage, you know. Ah, uh, can I speak to your manager? Man's the boss round these ends, but man can put you through to man's colleague. Yeah, what's their name? Siri. Yeah, I'll have them, please. Ayo, wag one, you dusty you. Wag one, you dusty you, the fuck do you want? Hi, could I just get a double cheeseburger, please? Alright, does man want fries still? Yes, large, please. Alright, calm, jeez, man trying to get a drink or nah? Yes, sparkling water, please. Alright, why you chatting shit then? What do you mean? Man said just want a cheeseburger and then orders another three things. Uh, another two, actually. Do you want man to shift you up through the sh Sorry, I didn't catch that. You want me to speak to the chef? I said, do you want man to shift you up? Oh, uh, no, thank you. That would be rather unpleasant. The duck head. I a wag on you, man. Everyone shut up, man. I need to get through this quick, because man's in a break in 20 minutes still. So don't be asking no questions. Follow, man. Uh, so this is the first room. I can't lie, it's kind of dead. Man told the painter to slap some blue on these walls, but he said it needs to be red. Yeah, my man with the big ears and that. Is it because it represents blood? Smart ass. Aye. Yeah, it is. Apparently, the artist shaved his own ear and sent it to his gal to show her his love. Dickhead if you ask man. Yeah, what now, bro? Man said no question. Is that all true? Of course it's true, fam. You think man will just be standing here waffling? I don't believe you. I don't like you, fam. Yo, one sec. Yeah, what are you saying, V? Home alone. Man's coming. Wagwan, this is a customer announcement. Man's ends are closing in five minutes still, so hurry up copying toilet paper and other useless shit and come and bust man the cash in it. 
Man respects that you shopped with Tesco. Cheers, man. Right, come on, Fedoras, we need to go pay. And blues acting bare sus, you know. Unexpected shit in the bag, my G. Excuse me, I just scanned that lettuce. Say less, my G. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. More unexpected shit in the oh, bag. what? Now! This machine's clapped, I can't lie. No worries. Bus manual cash. I want to pay by card, you stupid thing. Man doesn't take card, you dickhead. Cash, then. Bus manual cash down Yeah, below. yeah, I know, I know. Man's got no change left. Unlucky my driller. Excuse me, this machine won't give me change. And what do you want man to do? Um, can I speak to your manager? He's just over there. Vag van be what you want. Oh. Huh? Right. Morning, everyone. Register. Have we got Chad? <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Obviously, I'm here, you little dweeb. Tama. No, Tama. Oh, it's on. I'm sitting here. Why are you asking me this one? Right, sorry. Do you want me to hit your head with a toss measure? Uh, upon reflection. No, thanks. Z dots. Gang shed. Sorry. <laughs> Gang shed. Come on. Right, that's everyone. Have we got any questions? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you forgot me. <laughs> That's because no one cares about you, little dweeb. Oh, yeah, sorry, Jack. Yeah, you're on there. <laughs> Hello? Oh, what now? My son, can you learn it? How to put this one on the Donner cover? Bye, brother. Come on, gang shot. Can we have some calm in here? It's blasphemous. <gasps> How to announce a national lockdown for any UK news show. Start with a newsreader standing in what appears to be a ghost town and announce that the Prime Minister will be giving his 42nd speech of the year, despite the year only starting five days ago. He will also be 15 minutes late. In the speech, make the message clear that our health sector and British government officials have been hard at work on systems such as test and trace, tier systems and many others. So as a nation, we've decided to scrap it all. Finish in the studio and end the show with a meaningless question followed by meaningless movements of the papers in front of you. Where does the nation's future lie? Jonathan Teapot's ITD News. Alors, who's going to answer the question? Who looks like they are ready, monsieur? Non, non, j'en regrette rien. Ah. Allez, allez, intelligence et élégance, hein Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir Non. Alors, qu'est-ce que ta barrage de la saucisson met de la bonda à la buitant ce soir Ils ont pas woman, man, ain't got a clue what you're saying. You may as well be talking to a brick wall. Oh là là, you must have eat your head harder than us hot. I watch it cause you might eat your head on man's fist. OK, let's try another question. Sam, the entire class has their hands up and you're picking man. It is out. Pick that dusty you in the back with a petite saucisson. <laughs> Mais he is French. Yeah, that's man's point. <laughs> OK, OK, everybody be quiet now. What? You want to come here? That's what your mum said to man last night. Oh! I will mash at you with my crachet. Everybody shutting up now. Alors, monsieur, qu'est-ce que c'est? Euh, bonda. I'm Miss Penelope, man. Hold that. Penelope sent us. Oh, it's you, man. Come in. So, why you, man, been sent to man's office? Um, we didn't do the Shut homework. Shut up. You think man was born yesterday? We both took our books to the front of the class and shouted, This book's getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. that GCSE. Shut up. Now, man's been deciding on appropriate punishment. <laughs> look at the screen over there. I don't there. want to see any videos. Shut up and look at the screen. What's this? A TV. This. PS5. And this. A gaming chair. Man's going to give you, man, a chance to win some of this stuff. Oh. <laughs> you ain't keeping it, you're giving it to man. Oh. So, you man need to buy these flips every day for a week, enter your details on the Big Game Jocks giveaway website, and at 10 pm every night, check your email to see if you won. And if you man don't win, best believe there's gonna be different videos on that screen next time. Hey, can we buy these sweets for £1.50? £1.50, are you yeah. man? man? Hey, that was mine! Worth it. Man can get back if you want. Yeah, oh, that's disgusting. Did you man know that's how baby birds get fed by their parents? Their mums and dads eat the food and then throw it up and feed it to them. Uh, have you got any more animal facts though? Yeah, yeah. So you know foxes, yeah? Yeah. So apparently they have like spiky di like, like... <laughs> They're ding dongs. Yeah, yeah. So at night, when you hear foxes, bear screaming, you know it's a female one. Oh, well, she... I think that's enough. What are you teaching Man's them? educating them. Every little helps, Well, I think that's rather inappropriate. I'd like to speak to your manager. No problem, darling. He's just outside. Thank you. I'll be back, I will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no manager, is there? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
Excuse me, I'll call the police. Sorry, Mademoiselle. Excuse Ita. me. You're a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I really like your outfit yeah, and your mask is sick. <laughs> you still ain't getting this for 150. <laughs> Who would you say wears the pants in the relationship? Man's not even gonna lie, man's got a bad habit of not wearing pants around her still. And the baby is yours, presumably. Mm. Man's a baby, you know. Nah, it's not his. Whoa, 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 one thing at a time. Baby, not man's what? That, that is a baby. Uh, yeah. Bro, man thought you was just carrying like, a bit of pumper pumper, you know. That's first of all, number three, flag lord, it's not man's. <sighs> um, sorry? No need to be sorry, darling. What do you mean? You think man's trying to be a dad? I thought you said you wanted to start a family. Yeah, not that kind of family. What kind of family then? Man just thought, you know, get the stepsisters involved on that. Bit of in-law spiel, you get me? Don't look at man like that. What, you man telling man you never got the stepbro involved? No? I think it's fair to say this relationship isn't going to work. I think what's best for you, Shanice, is... Ayo, one more thing still. Ayo, you know Jamelia? What about her? Man got her pregnant still. Oh, you cheated on me with my best mate. At least the baby's gonna have a step, bro. <gasps> chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. Oh, come on, love. Let's get you to the toilet. Come on. What, are you mad? Yeah, we're going to change your nappies, all right? Hey, man didn't consent to this. Oh, sorry. Would you like mummy to change no, your nappies? Just because my boss is shouting doesn't mean you can just come and change my nappies. What's that smell in here? I think you need to change his nappies. Hey, shut up, fam. I think you need to change your Johnny next time you're with Adiola so that no one else has to have a crusty dad like me. I'm going to get the milk. Could you come here, please? What now, fam? I need some assistance. Fam, man changed your teeth like 20 minutes ago. No, you forgot to give me my vitamins. Man already gave you all of them. A, B, C, D, E, F, H. What do you want? X, Y, Z as well now. I need glucosamine as well for my heptoroid gland. Mr. Trappy, Doris needs you. What does she want, fam? She's supposed to be sleeping. Her feet hurt. She wants a massage. <laughs> Tell her there's paracetamol in the cupboard under the toilet. Mr. Trappy, that's upstairs. The lift is just outside on the right, darling. So what do I tell her? Uh, to go to sleep. Mmm, this one tastes interesting. Good to know your taste buds are still working. Just to let you know, Doris... What? Oh, that. That's Margaret. Is she... Was... Margaret. Congratulations, Karen. Oh, look at him. Hello. Oh, go on, where's man's milk? Look at your little nose. Oh. Hey, man's a big man. Oh, look at you. Where is the husband? Oh, he said he had to sort out some beef with some ops or something. Right. Why is my man bare looking at me like man's some dickhead, you know? Don't be rude now. He helped deliver Shut you. up and bust me a dummy. All right, we will, we will. And what's this dusty drip? How do you think man's going to be getting gagged in this? Do all babies scream this much when they're bald? Uh, no, not at all, actually. And where's man's dad, anyway? It will be here Sorry, soon. man's late. Be what is that? Man's telling you, man, it's coming home. Oh Sancho, God. Grealish, Mount, Kane, yeah. they are all coming home. Did someone say Grealish and Mount? Woman! I would let him come home at any time. Fam, it's the same story every time with England. They beat all the pants teams and then one good team comes along and they get their bundles whacked back home. It's like moving to two dead things and then thinking you can slide in Kim Kardashian's DMs. Do you think she'd let man come home? <laughs> Hey, whatever, don't get off topic fam, challenge man on the scores then, semi-finals and finals. On what? On Omada, this app, you can predict all football scores like Euros, all of that, and win bare prizes like PS5s, cameras, bare stuff. I see now. Get it by clicking the thing on man's profile, innit? Aye, and if man wins, you dump your gal and you have to DM Kim Kardashian. How are you even considering that, you know? Into the thick of it, innit? <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, yo, what's this, what's this? This is a complimentary starter, sir. And who exactly is it complimenting? We offer all our customers compliment. Would you like me to return this? No, man just gave it to you to feed man. Ah, very well. Big man! Angela will be taking care of your order. Ah, right, listen, man don't see any chicken on here. We don't serve chicken dishes, but we have a fantastic range of roast pigeon dishes and all- Roast pigeon! If man wanted pigeon, man would have gone Hyde Park. And come to think of it, man probably could have got complimentary bread in Hyde Park because, oh, you know them eight-year-old homeless grannies who just eat bare Sainsbury's Basics white bread on the floor? Sir, these are some of the finest dishes in Great Britain. Big man, if this is the finest Britain's got, man's going Zimbabwe. Man will catch a chicken myself, cook it up, and the only compliments man will be getting will be from the local paintings trying to see man's bread. perhaps it's best you leave. Would you like the bill? The bill?! For what? For the service and for the bread basket. What happened to complimentary? Yes, the bread was, but the basket is made from fine woven leather from King George V's great 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 grand. <laughs> great 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 speedy recovery, dickhead. Hi sisters, hi sisters, hi 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 hi.
Hello. Wag one man. Heard that you was involved in an accident last week still. What? Accident. We heard that you crashed your whip and it was bare peak. No, I wasn't. Right, say less, my G, but imagine you acted crash your whip. Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. And I'm very happy with the deal they provide, so thank you, but no thank no, you. Wait, Goodbye. Chill, chill, my guy. Man. And can bust you a better deal. Man checked. All prices for op companies. Yeah. Yeah, so we have two sections, clapped whips and peng ones like Lambos and that. Man's pretty sure you have a fiat. We can do that for twenty-four pounds a month amongst the clapped whip section. How does that sound? That sounds great, what's the catch? There ain't one, my guy. So I don't have to do anything. Just bust man your card and pin. Oh please. No wait, sure. Are you mad? Everything alright, my driller? Yeah, just sold uh sold another company. Ah, so repeat after man. Circle. Circle. Triangle. Triangle. That sounded like a cat being dragged up the stairs. Triangle. Triangle. Yeah, whatever. Alright, who can name something that's shaped like a circle? Nobody? Alright, what about a triangle? Your head. <laughs> Man will tell you something that's shaped like a circle. Bunda, for example. What's bunda? Never mind. This is a square. Who can name... Hi, sorry, sir, to interrupt. Why is that student there on the floor? Uh, man fell still. Oh my god. Uh, Belinda, come now, we have an unconscious student. This was Bunda. This is really not the time card, that's inappropriate. Where did you hear that? Yeah, who's teaching you this sh stuff? <laughs> Dad, don't lie. I do. <gasps> what are you doing? Hey, mad bad, man slipped oh. still. What are you going to do? Uh, wet paper towels will do the trick. Today we have Mr. Sandy with us, uh, he's going to be talking to <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, um, Sorry about that. Hi everybody, my name's, name's Chad. Yeah, we know. Let him oh, talk. Oh no, it's alright, I'm pretty famous. No big man, it's just Americans' creativity when naming their kids probably matches the level of logic you man used when you named the sport where you carry an egg in your hand foot. Please don't stop. Says the guy again. who looks and dresses exactly the same as every other British dude over the age of 10. This cost peace, where'd you get that crusty jacket, Peacock? Enough! This jacket was 2,500 bucks from Gucci. Bullshit. Brad, please ignore that. Right, so I'm I'm from Texas, I'm yeah. from... Uh, that's it. Get out. With pleasure. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a master of cryptocurrency. Anybody got any questions? How do you manage your finances? Uh, I use a banking app called Emma. It tracks all my spendings and earnings. It's like the best app for money management. You can get it by going to the link on my profile. What a lovely question. Anything else, Roderick? Why do you, man, play fake football? Why do you wear a fake Rolex? It's, it's not fake, fam. Oh, bro, I can smell the plastic from here. Man, felt your mum's plastic lost now. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I will, sir. All right, come up to the front. Yes, come in. Yo, yo. I assume you did not receive information regarding dress code or time schedule. <laughs> oh. Come in, take a seat next to Stuart. Uh, Safe. Now, Jeffrey, come to the front of the class. Tell us about your weekend. We see him, bro. <laughs> So during my weekend, I played COD and did some card swapping with the Mandem. We also... Um, excuse me? It wasn't me, fam. I saw you. We expect respect to be attained in this Wait, plot. let's leave it to the magic eraser. Did he laugh at you or not? Yes, it was you. I'll see you at the end of the lesson, Mr. Trappy. <laughs> you dickhead. Continue, Jeffrey. So yeah, then at the end of the weekend, I went with the Famalam and did the weekly shopping in ends in Waitrose. And uh, that was that, really. Okay, lovely. Mr. Trappy, if you'd like now to come to the front wait, of the wait, bar. Let's leave it to the magic eraser, innit? Should man bang this guy's face? Says yes. <laughs> Uno reverse. <laughs> Well, I've gone back to man's Aye, can you act hurry up? Because I'm not trying to be here all day, you know? Fam! What fam? So, well, I've gone back Why to man's Why is the best thinking here, you know? Are you mad? No, but you are singing this minging room and that. Aye, cute intro, man's gonna pattern this dust to you. Yeah, yeah, get how you did her. Tacky in the dark. So, what do you do? What do you mean, what do I do? I mean, Collie, are you dumb? It don't sound like you ever seen a day of school, I can't lie. That's a bit much coming from you. Look at you, fam. Fam, if man booed you out right now, we'd solve the world plastic pollution. You ain't even got peaceful crepes, you know? Shut up. <laughs> are you mad? How are you rolling around in socks? <laughs> man swears to God you're pushing your luck, you jarring gal. What's the budget for your new house? More than you paid for that Botox. 20 pounds. 20 quid, is that all you could spare? That you stole from the granny on the way here. You won't touch me, boy. Yeah, that's what I thought, little boy. Man's making peas today, still. Oh, fiddlesticks. Eh, yeah, pre that dusty ute over there. One is certainly in a pickle today. <laughs>
why one bus man your ticket. Uh, good day. Do you know if you can't bus man a legitimate ticket? That's a 10k fine, Steve. Uh, yeah, one does happen to be aware of that particular detail. And do you know how many gal dem man could bring to man's yard with them peas? Uh, yes. So what's it gonna be, you dickhead? Man hasn't got all day, still. One cannot recollect the location of one's ticket. Name ends and man's 079, still big. One did purchase a ticket. Does it look like man gives a shit? You need to hurry up, this should have been done yesterday. Uh, relax Margie, man was too busy linking holes and that, you know. We have 20 seconds until we're live, how long until you're done? Man's got two more headlines to type out, if you stop waffling in man's ear, man might actually be able to concentrate, in it. Hurry up. Dickhead. Hilarious. Oh shit, ayo Margie, bust man the face mask, quick. What? Why? What for? Just give it quick, man's not trying to catch Rona, you know. Here. Alright, safe. One, there's two. That's free. What on earth are you doing? This thing said virus detected. Better to be sorry than safe, innit? Oh my god. Hey, you're live, you know, you dickhead. Uh, a good evening. Everyone is dying. Start with a news presenter standing in front of an ambulance and provide imagery to ensure that those who haven't had a panic attack today will certainly get one now. Uh, yo, wait, wait, hold up, bro. Mum said I lost the plot. Uh, right, so we're just going to start. Yeah, man, don't care. Just hurry up, because man's got pengal them to link in a fresh whip. Well, first off, I just wanted you to start off with some light reading. Fam, are you mad? Man hired a driving teacher, not a librarian. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but it's protocol that you understand some basic theory before I can let you behind the wheel. Is there any perfume ads in here? Fam, you stink. You could do with some Chanel or Gucci guilt, you know. No, no perfume ads. Bitch, Corvette, Corvette, hop in my fucking jet Big man, can you shut up? Why do you have to sing when man's trying to Wait, read? Like that? Did you manage to read it all then? Are you being serious? Yes, look at the time. <laughs> We've been here 45 minutes already. Sam, it's been five minutes. Hey, yo, man wants a refund. Hey, yo, Nana, what are you doing, fam? Unfortunately, sir, I've just Unfortunately, you man's asked. That's like saying, unfortunately, man's gonna knock you out and then apologising for it. Sir, the law How is the... How much was man out? Five minutes? Sir, the law is the law, regardless, I've had to issue you the fine. You didn't have to do nothing, fam. You could have just seen man's whip and then pissed off back home to Auntie Belinda. Unfortunately, your parking slot has expired, if sir. this guy says, unfortunately, one more time... I'm very sorry. Sorry, man's ass. You parked Don't pretend like you are waiting around that corner for the minute it expires so you can slap that piece of shit on there. You parked at 2.42 with an allowance of one hour and look at the time. I'm now, look at that, 3.43, I'm very sorry sir. One minute, are you mad? One minute and 12 seconds to be precise, that's 112 seconds out of the law of jurisdiction that states... Unfortunately your machine's broken, man had to issue the breakage, man's very sorry, dickhead. So, do you chat to your broski at all then? Yes, we chat still, man chats bear shit about you, I can't lie. It's calm, his trim's clapped anyway. Gets it from his Marge. Allow man's ex ting, she died in a crash. Oh come on, we all know you were on madness with Camilla since the beginning, my G. <laughs> Georgie. What about you, Kate? Chat to Hazza? Uh, two royals, one girl? No. Man's joking. <laughs> Wagwan, my drillers, just to let you know, man like Harry is here. Oh, fucking teapots, who told man like H about the link up? Well, don't look at man, man never snaked it still. Is Auntie Meg's coming as well? Oh no, don't tell me the wifey's here as well. Yes, she is. Man's not home. Me neither. Wagwan, is there any space for man? Good day, kind sir. Wagwan, passport please, my G. Yes. And what makes you think man's a kind, sir? One simply assumed it based on one's facial features. Are you mad, my guy, thinking man's some... Yo, just from the face. Uh, no, not at all, sir. One simply wants. Shut up, man doesn't care. What's the reason for your visit to man's end? Business. Say less, my G. Bus man your ticket, I beg you. That shan't be a problem, old boy. Old? And why does it say family visit on your ticket here? Uh, one is also visiting family. Rah, now it's family, yeah? What happened to business, my driller? Uh... You're acting hella trippy, I can't lie. Man's getting the feds. Ah, yo, big man! No, sir, that won't be necessary. Get this dusty youth out of man's face. One has proof of business, uh, family. What this problem? Man's bear chatting shit. Send man back to his own ends. <laughs> one is visiting the ground. Hi mommy, do you need any help? Nah, my jeans. Oh, man's just making some leg munch vibing. You know them ones. All right, mommy. Soon after. Man does everything in this crib. No one asks us to help. Look at you, Dusty, just chilling in bed like some dickhead thinking man's gonna do all the work and that. I literally asked you if you- Shut up before man busts out the slipper. Well, it's true, I literally- Hey, your mum said bust man some peas, man's going out with the boys. Oh, say less, my G, man will give you bear peas. Only 20 quid, are you mad? Hey, my bad, say less, my G. Here, take 50. Safe. See you later, Waysman. Just wait till your dad comes back to yard still. He went to get the milk though, he isn't coming back. Fucking hell, fam, man, he's a pay rise. Ayo, Rudolph, bust man the sack, man, forgot it still.
the fuck are you looking at, fam? Do you want man to lose his job or something? Go to sleep, fam. Alright, find the dusty kid. Alright, then take that. Yeah, have that. Ay, right, shit, I ain't got nothing. What sort of clap name is that? Hey, yo, tell your sister she's been a bad gal this year. I ain't got nothing for her still, I can't lie. Alright, calm then, big man. Merry Christmas. Man's going to link a ho, ho, ho. Where's the door, fam? How it would look if newsreader's earpiece was out loud. Okay, greet the audience with a welcoming sentence. Good evening, even though it's not very good at all. Breaking news, there's 0.04% chance of dying from COVID. This Christmas, the public is encouraged to avoid any human contact and where possible, stay locked in a bedroom and stare at the wall with, of course, daily essentials such as a packet of masks and 10 litres of hand sanitizer. Okay, now you, Margaret, touch the papers a bit and stare at the camera awkwardly. Okay, perfect. Now just end by saying something really useless and obvious. I'm Margaret Crumpets. That was news at 10. Oh, what, my... Wagwan, my driller. Get us a couple of pints, will ya? Say less, my G. Oh. Yeah. Why are you acting like some next pussio? Oh, mate, I've had a long day at work. Leave it, eh? I man's just saying you're acting bare fruity like you're trying to get jiggy with that chair or something. Fucking hell, mate. Just because you lot lost to Millwall... Don't. Chat shit about man's brethren. So, my G, do you come here often? Yeah, yeah, mate, all the time. Man's never seen you in these ends still, my G. I bring the missus sometimes. Rah, man's got a gal, yeah? Is she leng, yeah? What, mate? That's my missus you're talking about. And what are you gonna do, blood? I'll knock you out! Yeah, right, you will. <laughs> oh. Yo, 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 what? You what, fam? Can you help me with some homework? Are you mad? Man's busy, you joke, man. Please, I need help with this algebra question. Calm, go on then. Man's bare smart, you know. Man was bare good in school. Man got a GCSE before your stupid mother came and left, man. Because she was bare jealous. So who's that in the kitchen, then? What's the algebra question? If there is x equals 3, so how much is 5x? Fam, are you dumb? Let man make this simple for you, yeah? If man links three holes in five different houses. How many holes does man link? Seven. Blood, you think man's that clap that man could only link seven holes? Twenty one. Are you calling man a slag? <laughs> um, excuse me, old boy. Man said, old, just because man's got a clapped hairline and specs doesn't mean man's been around bare time. One sincerest apology, sir. I need your help finding a book, please, sir. Did man's dad clap you on your head with the milk from the shop when you were a young G? Uh, no, sir, not to my recollection, but if one suffered a concussion, then potentially... Can't you see man's bare busy? Apologies, one will search for another employee. What is it, then, you dusty you? Well, where could one find the famous five book series? Are you dumb, blood? Well, given the fact that one is in the library in search of a book to read, it would be very self-contradictory to call oneself Shut dumb up. since by definition Shut this up. term would suggest that one is incapable of reading and writing Shut and up. the library is in fact a place for reading so that would defeat the purpose of one's visit. Come here you dickhead. Uh, one doesn't see any dickheaded beings in one's surroundings. Man sees bare dusty utes in these ends on a daily but you my guy are one of a kind. Well sir, as Shakespeare once said, be thou first dustiest ute, be thy greatest. I'm pretty sure man never said that. I know. But he did state that thou art... <laughs> Uh, uh, everybody listen, we've only got 20 minutes to read this story, so just shut up in it. Uh, once upon a time, there was a young G called ITD, and man was walking down ends one day when man saw a peng ting. This thing had mad bunda. What's bunda? La bum bum, you get me? <laughs> this thing had mad bunda. Oh. Sick, bro. She was like... I haven't ever seen a guy as handsome as you. And man said, man ain't ever seen a ting with bunda like you. What now, fam? <laughs> So the caterpillar turned into a butterfly. I heard everything. What on earth are you teaching them? Miss, are you the king from the book? Because <sighs> you've got mad bunda. My guy. Yes, next pi- Oh. Hiya. Yo, what are you saying? Oh, slippery floor, innit? Can I get a shot of espresso with two syrups, please? Say nothing. What about hey, Excuse me, sorry, I'm really in a rush. Could I just get in the What you can get is to the back of the queue. Yo, ah. big man, can I get you anything? Nah, bro, I'm good. Man would offer you cupcakes still, but it looks like you got a daily supply, innit? Oh. Hey, your mini boss man at espresso, two syrups. Come in, yeah. There's your receipt, my lovely. What's this? Well, it definitely ain't man's mumsy's number. Um, sorry, I've literally got a man. Hey, your mini boss man, that cup there. No, you don't. I don't what? What was the last thing you said to man? Um, I've got a man. Excuse me, I ain't got all that. Man's trying to secure the beast. <laughs> Ugh. 
First things first, a warm welcome to Brad. Now, How's man like Donaldo with... Trump? Um, thank you. Now, we're going to start off with an American versus UK slang test. Ah, uh, say that in calm then. Brad, you're going to start? Oh, oh, me? Nah, the other Brad sitting in your chair. That's it, ITD, get out. With pleasure. Okay, first phrase, Brad. How would you say you look great? We just say you look dapper, Brad. God save man. What do you guys say? You say, is that you, yeah? <laughs> Something funny, big man. Guys, please. See a friend and they look good and you ask them, I don't is that stop. You? Guys! Aye, Mrs. Man allowed to come back in now. Told you to get out, ITD. Well, Please. allow it. Aye, man, this ain't kind. Man got you chocolates. Aye, what? When we went on a date yesterday, you told me you had no money. Where did you get man money? I got it by signing up to Curve, innit? A banking company that keeps all your credit, debit cards, all of that in one. You can get a free tenner as well by clicking the thing on man's profile, innit? Hmm. I don't think she was being serious, bruh. He was getting on my nerves. Yes, Miss Man Lai. Ah, is that you, yeah? <laughs> man Lai, you know. Wagwan, this weekend looking hella clapped still. There's going to be bare showers and that, so don't be leaving the yard without some jacket unless you're trying to get caught lacking. Moving on to Sunday, North Ends are on a madness still. Bare sunny spells and that, so expect to see bare dusty utes out and about spreading Rona and that. And next week, when man like Bojo allows Mandem to link its peak, there's going to be bare showers. Bear man are going to get soaked and raw. Maybe a storm. Wagwan, from tonight, London will be going into tier 4 lockdown. Questions? What does that mean exactly? So you need to stay yarded, but you can also link Mandem in it. Yes, my guy over there with the blue tie. What's the difference between tier 4 and national lockdown? You can't get a trim. Okay, but... And you can't bang gym. Okay, but what about... And you can't cop fresh drip. Yes, next question, my man. You said we went into lockdown in November so we can have Christmas free, but now you've cancelled Christmas as well. I'll take that as I knew all along, but I was just toying with people's emotions to get their hopes up to eventually piss them off anyway. Yes. Right. So, a 3-0 loss today. Hey, yo, can you man chill? Are you mad? Turn them flashes off before man flashes you, man. Right, so Not a like three that. Right, so a three. If you say right, so one more time, man's gonna shove that camera somewhere where it'll make you not wanna watch the footage back. So ask your dusty questions so man can cut. A three 0 loss for your side today. Oh, what are some of your thoughts on the team's performance? What do you think? You think man's gonna come on here and say, oh, the lads were unlucky, we did our best shift. Shut up, fix up, or you get chinged. And have you spoken to any of the players? Luckily for them, no, I haven't. Man's too busy stuck over here chatting shit with you. And finally, what are some of your future plans? Uh, new disciplinary rules. Every mistake you make, one red bunda. Every goal we concede, two red... Uh, you know what? Thank you very much for your time, Mr. That's not your cue to stop flashing again! Stop doing it! So, Polena P, do you take Bill to be your man? Uh, Will. Did man ask you anything? I do. Are you sure? Hey, listen, your choice. Man's not trying to get involved, you get me? He's very rude, isn't he? Hey, <laughs> what? Oh, nothing, don't worry. Are you the mother-in-law? Yeah, I'm Cowan. Why is it always the in-laws? Um, excuse me? Can we just continue, please? So, do you promise to stand by my man in the good times and the bad times? I do. So, say man gets bare ill, like, he can't even wipe his own bundle or something mad like that. You swear that you're gonna, like, like, you know... Uh, yes. Hey, bust man the ring! Do you mind not throwing the wedding ring, please? What's this, cuz? ASOS three for two. No, it's my life savings. Here you go, boss man. What's this? Divorce papers, innit? What do you mean? Well, you may as well do it now. What's the point waiting 15 years? Excuse me, why would they get divorced? Hey, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, come on, let's hear it then. Tell man one thing. Where's your husband at? He is dead. <laughs> Many thanks for attending this wedding. Our first guest is one of the biggest stars in the world. Please welcome. Man's in the building. Yeah, yeah, wild one. So if I, I need to ask you some questions because you're a very um. Uh, 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 a what? A sexy guy. I know it. You don't need to say it, darling. Nah, man's joking. Yeah, yeah. Just make it quick, babes, because man's got bare paintings to link. You get me? Okay, okay. Why did these man keep laughing? Is it man's face? Are you trying to violate? Me? And and you sing. We know you as a rapper, but then you you. I don't know where you got your information from, darling. But man ain't no Mariah Carey. You know, when I was younger, I thought that I wanted to do that. It Jeez, man, that like pop star Ellen, you know. And as I got older and wiser. Oh, so you're uh, saying you're too dead at singing? Decided I don't want to do. When man comes to the house. Bear man look like a mouth. 
Look at your sign, mate. These men are dickheads. They weren't ready for the bars, fam. Oh, good evening. Ayo, what are you saying, B? Hey, man, like Liz, you know, I can't lie, she needs new drip, though. Our first guest is one of the biggest. Aye, this was when man went on the Ellen show. I respect it. Hey, she needs a new trim, though. Whenever you're ready. Three, two. There we go. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah. I can't lie, it's calm. Man, don't remember that still, I can't lie. All right, can you all hear me? Can someone leave a comment, please, if you can hear me? Oh, okay, thank you. And since we have you on the mic, could you please remind the class what we did last lesson? I do hope you're aware we can all hear you. I fam, man can't be asked for this. You need to start cooperating. Can you please tell me what we were looking at last lesson? I all man is saying is man was looking at something bare different to you, man. Okay, but could you look at the slide and read it out, please? Hello? Hey, man's mic is broken still. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. I can't lie. Well, could you read out what's on your screen, please? Sexy hot Russians in your area. Uh, take your hat off, big man. Do you mind, mate? Lockdown done a bit of madness for you, boss, yeah? Yeah, mate, yeah. Hey, man, I'll sort that off you, boss. What yeah, can I get you? Yeah, so I'll just trim the sides, like, halfway and style up the top, mate. No problem, boss. You'll be looking leng, my guy. Love that, Gage. Could you just do it as quick as you can, please? Yeah, yeah. So you're off anywhere tonight, yeah, big man? Yeah, mate, yeah. First night out. Uh, <laughs> what have you done? Relax you your done. bunda, man. It's joking, you know. You little hey, prick. Trim, you're going to get any gal, you know. Hey, that's it, big man. You want some gel? All right, then, give it some of that, yeah, yeah. That's what we want, you want it styled up, yeah? Hey, yo, big man, wakey, wakey, time to shine, innit? What is that? You said trim the sides halfway up and style up the top. You fucking idiot. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Who the flip is that? I swear to God, fam, if it's some dusty, you offering some crusty services. Well, go on, big man, if you ain't here to tell my man's won the lottery, man ain't interested. Hi, <laughs> no, not quite that. Uh, you enjoying the day? Got a couple of minutes? So you're ringing man's bell, bringing man to the door to ask man if man's injured. Man, what's enjoying it till man saw your face? Right, well, I'm very sorry to hear that. I just no, you ain't sorry, big man, but you will be. Okay, well, I just noticed your windows could do with some refurbishment and we oh, have a... Oh, so now you're violating man's crib. No, not at all. We provide elite Let services. Let man tell you something, yeah? Could I just finish? Is that what your gal said to you last night? What? Relax. Listen to man clearly, yeah? Man ain't got no uni levels, AS, GCSE degrees, none of that. But what man does know is that if man came to your crib, disturbed your tunes, asked you how your day is even though man don't give two shits, then violated your crib, do you think you'd use man's services? Well, I mean... No is the answer. Right. But, man's feeling nice today, so man will give you a second chance to impress. Right, okay. Wagwan. One. Hi, are you interested in some window refurbishing services? No. Oh shit, big man, chill! Sorry about that. I demand that you leave at once. I ignore him, he's a dickhead, I can't lie. <laughs> I yo, that's a violation, you know, man bent your gun. Boy, I haven't seen you since you was a baby, Harry. We're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly round the middle. Fam, how you coming man's ends and chatting shit like that? Man's a big man, you know. Well, of course you are. Well, not big like... Anyway, fam, what do you want? You're a wizard, Harry. Man said wizard, you know. Did you ever make anything happen? Like what, fam? Anything you couldn't explain when you were angry or... Aye, well, scared? once man gave some up boy a pig's tail like this. <laughs> Wagwan, Falcon Taxis 247, what does man want? Good day, one needs a taxi to go to Heathrow Airport. Why are you hollering at man when you're already in man's whip? Oh, fiddlesticks, could you please take the M35 route? Man said M35. Excuse me? That doesn't exist, my G. Oh. And how are you just coming in man's whip telling man what ends to drive through? Well, actually, one's London map knowledge is very extensive. You'd be surprised, sir. Yeah, man can see that, M35, dickhead. Do you want to drive? Yes, please. Sit your clap, Bunda, back down. You thought man was being serious. Buckle up. Oh, man, skitty on. M35, yes? Uh, no. Wagwan, my G. Good day, old fellows. Working hard or hardly working, eh? Show man what's in your pockets now. One doesn't think this is necessary, now is Did it? Did you hear what man said? Okay, okay. Just a teacup, uh, some old bingo coupons, and a spoon. 94602 Mandems have a suspect still caught man laughing with a shank. No, no, sir, it's for my tea. Whose head were you going to clap with that, big man? Nobody. One singular intention was to stir this tea bag, as you can see here. Also caught man laughing with a class A substance. Can we get two units to the scene immediately? No, that won't be necessary. It's tea, old boy. I one thinks you're doing a great job. <laughs> word, my dear, word. <laughs>
Welcome back to a new semester, you guys. Hi, hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. What the flip was that? We also have a new classmate, ITD. Yeah, say nothing still, cuz. <laughs> something funny, big man. All right, let's not. <laughs> Starting from the fact you look like Circus Darth Vader to the way you talk, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, totally. From how you chatting about man's drip? You walk around with plates in your shoulders like some dickhead. Hey! I'm high school's number one quarterback. You're gonna be a quarter of the way back home when man boosts your dusty bunda at this class. Hey, you might be the shit back in Europe, but in this country, I'm the tough guy. Europe ain't a country, you dickhead. You've never even played a game of football in your life. Fam, you man call a sport where you run around with an egg in your hand. Football. It's American football and soccer. Everybody knows it, bro. Everyone knows it, yeah? Guys, please. Right, then everyone go vote on man's poll. Go click the thing in man's bio. Download an app called Nunu. Search up Dusty U. Click on man's poll and vote for football or soccer. It's football, period. <laughs> Alright, repeat off the man. Bunda. Bunda. Very good. Everyone has one of those. Next up, cherries. Cherries. Yeah, my guy. Aren't cherries fruit? Yeah, they can be. You just have many flavours to discover, my guy. Next up, meat. Yes, come in. Hi, how's your science lesson going, everyone? What are you teaching them? Anatomy, miss. Can't you tell? Miss, I've got three questions. Yes. Do you like meat? I'm a vegetarian. Okay, what flavour are your cherries? Uh... And why do you have no bunda? Sir says we all have one. Okay, Mr. Trapper, you're going to be put on the drip before the operation, but before we start, you need to put these on. Hey, mm. relax. You are flipping mad if you think man's going to be touching that crusty thing. So it's hospital protocol. During the operation, you're going to have to have Karen, one. Karen, I've got a cut in here with no pulse. Hey, what? How did man get Very in? Very funny. We have a patient in Back here. door, innit? Same way man did it with your gal last night. Fun, are you mad? Please leave immediately. Do you know him? Yeah, he's a dickhead. Right, okay, please put this on. Hey, man, raise the drip. Get up, and you, man ain't wearing these dusty, crusty granny PJs. So you have a choice. Please put it on or the doctor will inject you with anaesthetic and do it for you. That's what I thought. Where did you man cop this? Peacocks? I'm not sure about our suppliers. I think we get not them a word to any man. Is man clear? Only to the snap. I ah! that's it. Sir, please get out. Oh, finally some You're going to have to take off the mask as well. Oh. Wagwan, how can man help? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment to get my eyes tested. Ice? Eyes. All oh, right, yeah, makes sense. Spec savers under. Ah, uh, yeah. So you got clapped ice out, yeah? Yes. Do it you? Explains the dusty drip. Do you have any other colleagues? How many fingers is man holding up? Right, I think I'm going to phone in another day. Hey, now, chill, chill. Listen, listen, listen. Man's not trying to lose his job under. Just fill out this form and man will book you in still. You just got to fill in your name, age, ends, and weight. Wait. Yeah, so we just need to know, like, the eyeball's weight to measure the demographical statistics. How am I supposed to weigh my eyes? Let man see that. Oh shit, no, my bad, wrong form. That's the obesity testing service oh. we provide. Did you want to fill that out as well? Oh. Hey, did you know carrots help with eyesight and obesity? Stop rocking on your chair. You know, I knew a student who rocked on his chair, fell back and cracked his head open and jumped. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Fallon. <laughs> you man are a mess. Jenny, do your tie up. And Wallace, tuck that shirt in before man comes there and tucks you in the floor. Anyway. Wagwan, Miss Tristan. How are you doing today, sir? Yeah, man's good still, but you're looking ling today. Anyway, man only came here to say one quick thing. Man won't disturb for long. Could man please borrow Charlie? Don't worry, big man. You ain't in trouble. Follow man. All right, now, as I was... Never touch Mrs. Bunda again. Man will have you kicked out of these ends. Man's gonna be writing to your mumsy tonight and bad tomorrow. Man wants 150 lines. Man must not touch Mrs. Bunda. Is man clear? So three times three equals... Shut up, three times three. Man weren't born yesterday. Man's got a GCSE as well. No need to pretend like you, man, weren't all listening in. Anyway, miss, all sorted. The only youth that's going to be touching your bunda in this school is man. <laughs> nice to see you, man. Everybody, welcome to the class, ITD Junior. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know the procedure. We're going to start with some show and tell. Yeah, yeah. Say less, my G. So what did you bring to show us today? Hey, uh, listen. Man's got a better idea. What's that? How about you start by showing us that bunda? <gasps> man wouldn't mind if you tell us about it as well, still. Right, right. Okay, who taught you that? Man's dad. Okay, okay. How about we start with Brad? What do you have to show us? I've got a pen, and my mommy gave it to me to write my name, but I just stick it out of my nose. <laughs> right, yeah. Interesting. So, ITD, what do you have to show Man's us? Man's got a fake ID. It lets man get into clubs so man can secure the beat with paintings like you. 
Well, go on, Dickens. Good evening. Le man gas twin room, yeah? Yes, that'll be correct. Does it come with breakfast? No, you dusty. It comes with a bed and a bathroom. Sorry, did you say a bed? Fam, man, don't know if your mum's you dropped you on your clapped head when you was a young G, but man's starting to get pissed off, you know. Obviously, it comes with a bed, you dickhead. Are you dumb blood? Yes, I understand, but I'd like a bedroom that comes with separate beds. All right, say less, my guy. Is that all? Is breakfast included? Nah, that's an extra bill still. But it says free breakfast. No, it doesn't. And why two beds, my G? One for you and your gyal, and the other one for round two, yeah? No, actually. And don't be shy, my G, man. Respects that still. One is mine, one's for my sister. Here's your room key, and man wrote down the number in case your sister's single. Are you mad, cuz? Wagwan, Wagwan, what are you man saying? You good, yeah? This is your captain speaking, innit? Welcome aboard, man's hard jet, big flying bus still. Fans gotta be honest, the weather's looking bare clap today, so I can't even lie, you might need to bust out the oxygen mask if you're ever trying to see your gal again. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Uh, no, the dickhead's sitting on your head. Take your headphones <laughs> out, cuz. And make sure your dusty androids on flight mode, man's not trying to get caught lacking about Bermuda Triangle, you know. Okay. okay get yeah. boom shakalaka, that's a monster, you mad. Okay. And, um, excuse me, how much is a bottle of water? Eight pounds. But I'm a regular. Twelve pounds. Oxygen marks are under your bunda and above your head there's a shank in case I'm dusty you ask you to put your window down. Oh and also if you go to the toilet and you bust a shot and you don't open the window, man will personally come out and clap your head. Enjoy your flight. So tell man, what exactly is this project about? It's about drugs and alcohol. See mums? Teaching them young, man respects that. Yeah, but it's about not doing them. That's, that's what man meant. Alright, let's see it. Depression. We are his friends. friends. Drugs. And alcohol. We all coexist, but without one another, we, we do, do not exist. exist. I cannot survive without you, alcohol, and I cannot survive without you, drugs. Hey, come on, have a drink, you'll feel... I don't want to drink. But come on, you can join us with the cool people. But I drank, and I died. <gasps> this ain't Britain's Got Talent, why are you even standing there as if you're waiting for men to say yes or no to tell you if you're through to the next round or something? Mm. We need feedback. Right, shut up, whatever. Why were you man looking at the camera as well? It's called breaking the fourth wall. I don't know what walls you man are trying to break, but man, they definitely seen Brad Pitt ever looking at the camera. We don't need your feedback. Sir is back next lesson. And what? <laughs> man is the new sir. Wagwan. Good day, sir. Oh, you dusty oots. Yeah, say less, my G's coming. So, do you man know why you got sent to man's ends? Yes. No. Raw, giving man attitude and that, yeah? I don't know what I've done wrong. So you're telling man you think it's calm clapping random youth's heads with books in the library. <laughs> you find that funny, yeah? Actually, man's gonna be honest, man can't be arcs dealing with you. <laughs> Your mumsy can pattern you, where's man's Oh, phone? no, sir. You don't know her number anyway. Ha, <laughs> is that what you think, my G? Hey, baby. <laughs> what are you saying, B? Man's got your son in the office. Oh, he's in trouble, and so will you be tonight. Re ha, relax, B. Come and get him now. Not laughing anymore, are you, my driller? You can go. What about him? Man can't be arcs with him. His marge is clapped. <laughs> I, I, I relax with the cameras, yeah, man's not trying to have an epileptic fit. Man's on a health thing now. Sir, yeah. how do you plan to succeed, Mr. Hancock, upon his exiting? First of all, just because you use fancy words, it don't make you sound any smarter. Second of all, all man's saying is there ain't going to be any funny cabinet business. Just pure business, isn't Could it? Could you give us a bit of insight about what happened with the former health secretary? Let's just say man's been about places with his little vaccinator, in it. Bit of spicy fires and left, bit of bundas, and it right. Anyway, man's ends now. Man spoke to Bojo. Hancock admits to breaching the social... Man's going to admit to clapping your head if you interrupt man one more time. No wonder man like Hancock lost his hairline dealing with you, man, all year. Sir, sir, is the protocol going to be the same going forward? Hand, space, space. I can't lie, big man. Man like Hancock should have changed that a long time ago to Bang's age case but we move anyway man and is it true that he was working night that day or are your wagwan bojo are you in still are your wagwan big man is this the white house still no this is 10 downing street Aight, whatever man didn't ask you a life story is bojo in he's not in right now what you want why are you lying to man do you want to take this outside yeah yes you can get out i am joking let me in, you dusty guy are your wagwan my he's upstairs on the right came to the bando healthy left with a dusty cough why is there no Trump still? Because... Good evening. Ayo, wagwa, my G. Bojo and that. Men reach the crib, you know. Is this why you bring the gal down here? Yeah. Uh, Cheese! Is man like, you know. I, I, look, I, I forget it, big man. Man's got a sick idea, yeah. Me... Me and you tonight, yeah, bring bare gal down. We throw a mad party. Man will bring... Now you're going to get out. Aye yo, wagwan, wagwan, aye, five awards to give out, yeah, let's keep this real quick because man's got places to be, things to be and bread to make. Aye, so, first up, we got most overrated TikTok of 2020, 
flipping neck. It's a draw, you know. Charlie Damalayo and Adaya Savri. I can't lie. I never heard of these, man. All right, up next, Karen of the year goes to uh, that vegan teacher who couldn't be with us today, unfortunately, because she got run over by a herd of cows on her way in. All right, third award, the deadest trim. Raw, that's mad clap, you know, I can't lie. Ruby Rose. Fourth, the happiest TikToker of the year, sharing her posit positivity in her hit singles, Be Sad, Really, 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 Really Sad, and Don't Touch Me. It's Dixie Damalayo. And finally, the most underrated TikToker of 2020, it's me. Right, see you lot later, man's got places to be at. In a bit, man. Wag one, you flipping dusty youth. If you're not a complete, total dusty youth, go here and cop man's merch. See these pictures of man, man looks laying here. That's how man gets all the gal them. If you don't cop this, you're a dusty youth. Alright class, alright, everybody settle down now. As I warned you guys yesterday, I have to shoot now. No, 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 not like that. I need to leave for a meeting. But we do have Mr. Trappy Aye, aye, yeah, yeah, whatever, cool. See you later, Miss Honey. Alright, okay. quick voice warm up before we get into man's lesson. Sports, all together. Name the sport. Soccer. So this is what we're doing, yeah? How would you man call this? Football. Fam, the ball's in his hat. Alright, let's switch to body parts. Football. And what's man holding? Ball. That's right. Foot. Foot. Football. Alright, we're getting somewhere. What are these? Hands. Come, we're all good. No, let's go back to the beginning. How would you man call this? Football. <laughs> Wild one. So you want to know how to be a real road man? Man will give you three steps. Step one. Bunda. Everything's about bunda. Like this. Are your babes? Man race to bunda. Ugh. Step two. Drip. If it ain't Gucci or Louis V, it's clapped. Step three, terminology. Every sentence begins with man said and ends with still. Like this. Aye, yo, man said you got bunda still. Good day, old boy. Wagwan, my driller. One would like to open a membership with this gymnasium facility. Say less, my G. You packed on the kilos during lockdown, yeah? No, sir. Actually, one has maintained a fantastic diet and fitness. All right, shut up, you dusty youth. Man didn't ask for your life story. So, us, man, have a monthly and a yearly payment deal. Both cost bare peas, so it's peak for you either way, my driller. I can't lie. Which one would be more financially effective for me? You're really coming to man's ends, asking if you can use man's shit for less peas. Uh, yes, sir. Are you trying to get dropped, my G? No, kind sir. One would simply like to settle a fair deal. A deal? Not here, my guy. Man's not no, trying no. to get caught lacking on the job. A gym membership deal, sir. Rah, my bad. So what's it going to be, my guy? Man hasn't got all day, monthly or yearly. Do you have a price list? <sighs> Woman, how long? Be back, relax, you know. Fam, man's been relaxed for six hours. The taxi is waiting. Can you just come out? That's what she said. Not what you said to Mando. Well, go on, boss. What man. time you call this, my Fam, friend? Fam, this huh? woman taking six hours to put on fly liner foundation, <sighs> blush and mush and I don't know what other else eyebrow extension. For me, same thing with the wife every time. Put the okay, makeup. Okay, Mandela asks for your life story. Can we drive? Of course, my friend. I give you a nice ride, but uh, very sorry, my friend. Where are we going? Man, put it on the app. You just put a date with wifey. Is that what you put? Yeah. That one, man. You calling me wifey, yeah? Shut up, let's go Mackies. Say less, my G. Now man needs to empty man's wallet again as if this dusty gal hasn't emptied it enough already. <sighs> Where is it? No, no, free ride today. You use code ROADMAN10 on Bolt app for £10 off first ride. You see link on my profile for this one. Why don't you ever give man free ride? What do you mean? I drive you like everywhere. Never mind, man went on the back. Wait, what? Oh. Ra, man like Peter, what he's saying? Good day, sir. Sit your bunda down oh. and slap that mask on the table for man. Okay, sir. Oh, why? I'm Cowan. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Ah. Wagwan, man takes his, you're the mumsy. Cheese, yeah, is that yeah, you, yeah. yeah? Right, Peter, I can't lie, man's gonna have to snake you in front of the mumsy still. Is one in a pickle? Yeah, it's looking hella peak for you, my G. I'm listening. Man said that's four assessment days in a row you did shit. What marks did one achieve? Uh, four out of 20, five out of 16, eight out of 20. I can't lie, it looks like man got more marks than man was born with brain cells. Sounds like no fortnight for you tonight, Peter. And man's target grade, raw. it's looking clapped, my G. Oh, that's not good, is it? It's all them phone games, all that Insta chat and all that. Top tick and that. <laughs> Innit? So, PT lad, man bust you two targets for the year. Number one, cop some new drip. Number two, cop a new mumsy. Oh. Time's up. Have a good one. What about his education? Man's brain dead, my driller. Nothing man can do about that. Ayo, what one, bro? Take man to ITD News headquarters, yeah? Hello, brother! ITD headquarters, yeah? Hurry up, cause man's late. Where on earth is he? I don't know.
Hey yo, what you saying, Margie? Where on earth are you? Nah, man's around the corner like two minutes. Don't stress it, babe. No, no, brother, be 45 minutes away. Shut up, you dumb guy who asks you anything. Do your job and drive fast, fam. Just to let you know, you were actually going to read the headlines today, but you can't. What do you mean? Hey, I love man, Margie. Hey, I swear to God, fam, you man are waste, man. When man comes there, it's going to be fireworks. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Margaret, forget about him. We're live in 10 seconds. Delay the show for man. Unlucky, my friend. Unlucky. Have you got a girlfriend? Why are you chatting to man? You're looking very grumpy. Oh, shit! So as you man know, biology and gymnastics are basically the same thing, innit? So as a quick warm-up, you man are gonna name a body part and then show a stretch for it. <laughs> are you planning on stretching your head? Um, Do you want man to come stretch it for you? No. <laughs> Something funny, Einstein. <laughs> No. Alright, we got five moves on the wall. Over there. Log roll. Roly poly. Back roll. Can I do the back with roly poly? Man don't know. Can you? Yeah. What fitness channels you man been watching, man, don't know. Now can do a handstand. You better pray you can do a handstand, because otherwise you're going to be standing on your bunda in a <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. How to give a tier 62 news broadcast for any UK news show. Start by explaining that new scientific research shows that viruses can spread through eyeballs of individuals who have hands and legs. So goggles and three masks are now compulsory. Interview the Prime Minister who will inform you to stay at home whilst making sure you do go to work, but from home in no less than groups of sixes, less than three households, each with one member. And finish with a newsreader in the North Pole stating that Santa Claus will be delivering for this Christmas all year round, as he needs to take two weeks of self-isolation for each country he enters. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News. Ah, so man just wants to say we're here to chat in it, communication and that. So just say what's in your brain, innit? So they can say anything. Yeah, that's what man just said, you dickhead. Well, lately I'm feeling very emotional, not very... Raw, not a sim. She never showers, so when we do the higgy jiggy... Hey, bro, chill, we don't need to know about that. But you're a counsellor. Yeah, and my man out there is a postman. It don't mean that man reads all the letters. And man's Margie's a Can I say something? That's already something. I'm just not happy with him. Why not? Well, it just ain't like it was before. Oh, right, it got smaller. No, what? What do you say about my ding dong? I was talking about our marriage. Yeah, yeah, man thought you was all about it. Never mind. Can you, man, just tell man what you want? I want her to shower. And I want him out. Out, like completely out. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that'll be £500 for this session. Cash or card? <laughs> man, swears to God, if there's one more complaint about suspicious behaviour on the train platform, man's gonna come there personally. No, there's a fire in my neighbour's garden. I need emergency fire services. I will pass you on to the fire service. Okay, okay, thank you. Hey, yo, big man. Fire brigade urgently. The garden will soon be completely on fire. It's gonna spread through the trees. I'm at 23 Stong House. Hey, yo, yo, yo! Too much info, big man. Chill out. What yeah? do you mean? Chill out. The gas barbecue's on fire. It could explode. Hey, man, and if you don't shut up, man's gonna come there and explode you. Have you ever heard of a hose? Oh no, it's it's far too big for that. A bit like your boots for you. What? Way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. You know the song, yeah? I'm gonna call different services. Hey, man's joking. Okay, man, I'll send you a brigade. Thank you. Hey, see you in a bit. <laughs> I might even post the address, you know. I know, I got thick of you know. <laughs> Answer then. I oh, got nine 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 fire brigade help. Hi, you didn't take my address. No shit. Yeah. So the first five notes are. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let man be honest, yeah? What? The song's mad clapped, you know? Listen, yeah, man's got this pen gal on Snap, yeah? Right. Yeah, and her dad's got bare peas in it. Man's got piano thing in his backyard, Suzuki or something like that. Yamaha. Yeah, that. So man wants to get on a serenade thing, innit? Okay, what about... Yeah, that's um, calm. How long would that take? About two weeks. Alright, calm. Alright, play a C up here. Oh my god, make that two years. So, a little competition for you, man. The first person to drop the ball gets red ass by the last person to drop it. What's a red ass? Look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Is man clear? Excuse me, that's my son. You know, I'd like to speak to your manager immediately. Woman, man is the manager. That's how it works in football. Would you like to come and demonstrate keep ups? Well, no, that ain't my job. Exactly. So, do your job and shut up and stand on the side looking important. Let's go, everybody, stop. Who's gonna whip? Oh, oh Sullivan no. drops it first. Iron Man's getting red off. Oh, Sullivan. 
Oh, oh and Phillips out as well now. Hey, who's doing the deed? Last two, who's booting the bunda? The PC. Kevin, come up. Listen, hey, Sullivan, sometimes you got to take the L, innit? <laughs> No, absolutely not. Stop! <laughs> Alright, man's just gonna slap this light on here. Don't worry, it ain't bright. Ugh. Oh, my bad, big man. Take these. Alright, say nothing, my G. Let's see them mashers, innit? Why are you dusty, you? That's what she said. Oh, shit, man said oh. crusty breath, you know. Alright, M2D8. Clapped XYZ hella butters D2 calm B9 dusty AF oh shit M9 dead C12 minging fam do you even brush your teeth yeah, all the time well it don't look like it man's gonna have to sort this out still IOB man's gonna need that drill you know are you man are you wrong from the oh That's the actual okay. drill you dickhead man yeah Yo, safe fam are you mad Actually, one's health consultant told me that thou mental health is in supreme condition. Stop chatting shit before a man busts out men's shank. Excuse me? Get your clapped bunda to the back of the queue. One hardly thinks that will be necessary, darling. Darling? Is man being sexist and that? No, not at all. Um, six feet, and where's your mask? Anti-masker! covid year anti-masker! But one is in possession of a balaclava. Aye, man's losing man's patience still. Bounce or man will get man's brothers on you. Oh, a family reunion. That sounds splendid. I yo, man them. Oh no, four Karens. This could be problematic. Do you want to see man's shank? Is it beef or lamb shank? Oh. I yo, what we got then? A crocodile's. It's blended crocodile anus. Six anuses. Come again, big man. If you drink this, you will win immunity from the first one. Man said crocodile bunda. Snap, snap, and that raw. If you drink this, you will win immunity from the first four off for one of your fellow campmates. Shut up, campmates. They can be hungry. Have you man not got chicken or something else? There is one more dish on offer, and if you do this, everybody gets a drink tonight. Hey, let me get that one then, yeah. I what's that, bruv? This is. <laughs> Cocky road ice cream. I now nah, don't take the piss. Obviously, it's a penis. Is man stupid? Or could you tell which animal it comes from? Some beef with some necks and a thunder thing. Hey, man's out here, you know. Camp's gonna be hungry tonight, blood. Hey, yo, what you say, man? Like Keith, man wants the chicken, innit? Hey, yo, did you hear, man? Hey, now nah, you're mocking it, big man. Oh, shit, you need money, innit? I'm my bad, big man. I right, take that. I swear to God, fam, if you man get this wrong, somebody's gonna be dying in camp tonight. Hey, yo, Wagwan, who's this? Hey, your camp mates have won this afternoon's challenge. Hey, uh, whatever. Hey, you man, listen to this question, yeah? What percentage of men... What percentage of men... ...would like their penis to be what? larger? What? Fam, what sort of question is that, fam? Bun your dead cushion, Bob. Hey, yo, I knew it, fam. Hey, yo, Keith, allow it. Walk one back. Hello. What are you doing, fam? My friend, I'm saying hello to the gentleman and the woman. But did man tell you to do that? Only it occurs. Is man what? Cute intro. Yeah, yeah. Get tight, dickhead. Tatty in the dark. So, man, like Mr. Parlak, what do you do? Sometimes I hit my son on the head with the toss machine. Other time with the sieving machine. Man meant like as a job. This one part-time job. This guy is taking. How do you man even find that funny? That's child abuse, big man. By teaching him how to be a real man and how to get little moms. By clapping man on the head with a toaster and a sewing machine. Yes, man, come on to show you. Aye, that on. man's good, man gets bare gal them still. Come on, here come on. So what's your full time job? My friend, I'm having the kebab shop. Aye, that's calm. If man brings the gal, you can bust man a discount, yeah? Of course, man. And the garlic sauce and the chips for the moms. And for man? Huh, for the moms. Yeah, and what about man? Of course, for the moms. Fam, are you mad? Are you okay? What's a cuz, bro? Mate, I'm getting smashed tonight. <laughs> the only thing getting smashed tonight is your face if you don't bust man your ID. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. There you go. What? You think man's a dickhead? This ain't real, fam? Yeah, it is. It's real, it's real. This ain't real, fam. What kind of ID even is this? My driving on. Oh, yo, shut up. You're next, mud blood. Hey, you can go in, though. Yeah, yeah. In you go, my sweet. What? Grow a bunda and a couple melons. Life will be easy for you, too, big man. I'll be home late tonight. Ayo, Wagwan man's got your son here 
Jefferson Anderson. He's trying to get into man's club. Can you please confirm man's age? I ain't got a son called Jefferson. He's called Stanley and he's 16. <laughs> Stanley, yeah? Alright, see you nothing. Yeah, what, Sam? Sam, why is it taking you longer than man's gal's nails to do some dusty homework? It's hard. That's what she said. Nah, she acts said it's small, a period. I would have thought you'd get that done quick with the brains you got from man. The only thing I got from you is a small ding-dong. Alright, shut up, big man. It's because you're on your phone. That's why it's taking you so long. I'm contacting my tutor. Why do you just ask you man? You don't know algebra. Watch, boss man that book. I nah, Einstein was therefore high when man wrote that. Nah, it's easy though. So man's got 8x. You told then me you have 12 x's. Maths x's, you dickhead. Oh, forget it, Josie. He's done it already. Josie? Hey, who's Josie? Man can contact any math student in the world on this app. You send them a picture of any question and they send one back. Explain and solve. Send you what pics back? Maths pics. What's the app? Golf math. Get it by clicking the thing on man's profile. Aye, I can't lie, man. Might need Josie to sort out man's x if you get me. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Aye! Yo! Ah, right then. Right. Mm. Aye, fam, why you gotta take so long? Hurry up, all these weasels are bare peed, man, you know. Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Aye, man's a bad man, you know. Not a bad mind, either. Well, obviously, are you trying to say it's surprising that man's not dumb? There's talent. Aye, fam, whatever you do, just don't stick, man, with those dickheads in Hufflepuff. Are you sure? You could be great, you know. Man's gonna be great anyway. Aye, Slytherin or man will chef you up. Slytherin! Yeah, that's what man thought now. Get this dusty thing off man's head. So the other day, it took me days and nights to make this Roadman in Star Wars TikTok, and it didn't do well at all, so I've been sulking ever since. But a few of you wanted to see how I made it, so here's the 20 second tutorial, tree two, one, go. First, I picked a good scene from the movies, picked up my favourite quotes, and put them together in a script I came up with. I filmed the Roadman's parts in front of a green screen, edited out the green screen, and chose a good background that fits with the movie scene. Then, for the lightsaber parts, I had to use a toy lightsaber, film it, put it into an editing software, mask out the lightsaber with a white block, frame by frame, add some glow, and change the colour. I could have made it blue or green, but I chose red because man's a Bad man, you know. We want some of this smoke, yeah? It's settled in. Yeah? Wagwan. Ay, of what you saying, big man? Bust me into vodka. Sorry, my slime. We don't have them ones there still. What do you mean you don't have vodka? You're trying to piss men off. Nah, G, man's not trying to get into beef still. Us man just don't have vodka in these ends, man. I'd driller. say less, my G. What do you man got then? So we have beer, lager, ale, and some leng Are champagne. you mad, cuz, thinking men's come this ends to drink some dusty wine with some posh youths? Oh, yeah, listen, mate. If you don't like it, you can get out. What are you chatting the shit to? You know who man is? Who thinks this own daughter? Hey, what, cuz? Are you are you mad? Are you trying to get shaft? Listen mate, we're just out here just trying to have a laugh, get smashed and pissed. The only thing man is smashing is your face and your gal tonight. You talking about my missus? Yeah, and what guys? Oh, do you right now? Alright you man, let's not cut. <laughs> so then I was like, no, but you gave your man head in the pot. Come, where's this dusty gal? <laughs> Oh my god, it's him calling you. Should I answer? Bear pissing man off. Alright. Hey, are we saying B? Hello? Better get ready in that, cause man's gonna treat you today, you know. Where we going? Hey, it's a surprise. B man will bust your location, yeah? Meet man there in 15 minutes, innit? Alright, bye. Come in a bit. Hey, your mumsy, bust man 10 quid. Get a job. So, are you gonna pay? Man forgot the wallet still, I can't lie. You men are literally all the same. Ayo, Shanice, allow it. Oof, she's got bunda, though. Road man recreates Harry Potter magic because man ain't got mumble yet. So here's man sitting with the man then, but man's a bad man, so man don't need no dusty uniform. And then man reads the name out and it's some Harry Potter kid, some dusty you. Harry Potter. Anyway, on Christmas Day, man was running for some feds, innit? So man busts out the invisibility cloak. But the feds are still trying to find man, but man's too busy chilling with Albus Dumbledore. Ay, yo, wog one, my dude. I beg you, man, let man read the headlines today. Man's on time. Morning, Jay. Morning. I told you you're not reading the headlines. Put this on. Are you mad? Can you please not cause trouble already, Jay? You want man to slap on pink drip? Are you still high from yesterday, fam? Put it on. It's ITD merch. For work today, you're going to be responding to comments. You're moving mad. Here are the comments you need to respond to for the show. You're live in five seconds. Hurry up. Aight, first comment. Raw. Karen says man's ageist. Aight, man's not ageist still. Me and Margie are tight and she's like 60 or something. Why are you preying man like that? It's true. That's so rude. Are you her lawyer or something? Or are you just trying to secure the beat, big man? Well, I 
No. Anyway, bare comments about your eyes, Margie, you know. Yes, you do have nice eyes, Margaret. Oh, thank you. Do you man want to get a room, fam? Oh, yo, yo, Brad. yo. Names? Chad and Brad. There's about 10 Chads and Brads on Chad there. and Brad, we met last semester. I, my G. Man, don't remember you. Oh my god, you are so hot. Did you get that outfit in British? Oh, get out man's Ooh. face. Who the flip is that now? What gum? Hey, yo, bro, come for a game of spin the bottle, or as you guys would say, but oh. <laughs> Do <laughs> oh, you want man to spin your head? You're gone then. Alright. Hey, now nah, shut up, fam. Truth or dare, bruh? Dare. Man, I, I dare you to ask that chick over there what she's doing next Tuesday. IOB. What are you doing next Tuesday? <laughs> are you not mad? Oh. Wanna take me out for a <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get out man's crib! Oh you mad, only run from fed. Touch my watch, what you want get dead? Yo, what up, your man get shit. Yo, what up, the right here? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When it asks in the interview room, I don't know. How many guys in the room? Are you mad? Sorry. Are you man mad? Do you know who runs these ends, fam? No. Man! Man runs these ends, and man knows your mum, you know. Ow. Let's just say man's knocked a few balls in your mum's backyard before. Yeah, that's what man thought. So take this, and make sure man don't ever see it again. Wagwan, dickheads. Good evening, old fellow. Let man guess. Twin room. That would be correct, sir. Does it come with breakfast all inclusive? No, you dusty ute. It comes with a bed and a bathroom. I'm sorry, a bed, did you say? Fam, man doesn't know if your mumsy dropped you on your clapped head when you were a young G, but man's starting to get hella pissed off still. Obviously, the room comes with a bed, you dickhead. Are you dumb blood? Yes, one understands, but one would like a bedroom with two separate beds. Say less, my G, is that all? Is breakfast included? No, my drill, you're gonna have to bust man an extra bill still. Very well, thank you. Why two beds anyway, my G? One for you and your gal and the other one for round two, yes? No, actually- Hey, don't be shy, man respects that still. No, kind sir, one bed is mine, the other for my sister. Here's your key, and man bus your sister man's number in case she's single, still. Are you mad, my dear? Hi, class. Wagwan, Miss Honey. My name is not Miss Honey. You're a sweet one, like honey, though. Now, Mr. Jones has told me that you guys have work to be getting on with, so I'm gonna- Yes, what is it? Can we listen to music? So it lets us with headphones under. As long as you're quiet. My G, man like Miss Honey, you know. What's that? Holy smoking things, are you mad? Is that UK drill? Man said drill, nah, basically. I don't care what it is. I, I swear it's an educative game. <laughs> oh, really? Um, excuse me, you know what? Why don't you go to the front of the class and you can tell everybody, including me, about this educational game. <laughs> Aye, big man, put it on the snap. I I see nine. So you have to like tap the screen and ching up the things in the way. It's called slice it all and <laughs> I, I beg you tell them man to stop filming man. I think I'm gonna ignore them just like you ignored me. What? Man's gonna ignore you when you see man with your mum tonight. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed man's presentation, Miss Honey. You can get the game if you clicky here on man's profile. Ay yo, dickhead, boss man the aesthetic. Did you mean the anesthetic? You know what man means. Man needs to temporarily kill him still. This dickhead acting like he's dead though. Alright boss, you might feel a little sting from this shank here. <laughs> Alright, calm now, boss man the scissors. Yeah. Let's just chop this up a bit, man needs a bit of space to work with, you get me? Yeah, yeah. Do you actually know what you're doing? Yeah, so basically man just lowered his pulse right down so man can just work on this clapped pancreas. Just a few more tweaks in here, slap that on there. Alright, boss man a pencil, I big. Just need to mark something up still. Alright, that should be fine. He's dead. Nah, you're wrong, big man. He hasn't got a pulse and he's not moving. Yeah? Watch this. Ah, yo, big man. Man slept with your gal. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you saying, Margie? Hey, what are you saying, Margie? Man raised the court, you what know. What on earth are you doing? Is it new yet? Cheers, man. Like. No, I've been wearing it for about three months straight. Oh, shit. Same month. We have a live Christmas broadcast in about two minutes, and you haven't even put up the decorations yet. What do you want, man, to do? Here, take these, decorate the tree. This. And put these lights up. And I'm quickly going to make a coffee. We have a live broadcast in 90 seconds. Make sure it's done. Fam, that's easy, man. I'll have that done in like 10 seconds, you know. Just put that there. And then man will just get that and we'll slap that on there. That's calm. Ayo Margie, you got five seconds till you're live, you know. Good evening tonight, everyone. <laughs> 
Wagwan, you dickhead. A good day. What are you munching still? One would like the crumpets with a touch of roast beef stew à la vente de la bouillon. Calm still, but man's just saying big man ting, that's legit one of the most clapped things you can get. One finds that rather astonishing. It sounds most fabulous. Trust, man, it's dead. Thank you for your opinion. In that case, one would opt for the sautéed kale à la roast de la vente de la champignon. Say less, my G. And if you could hurry and bring that as soon as possible, one would be most appreciative. Do you want man to clap your head? No, that would be rather painful. Exactly, so shut up, you dusty ute, before man gets the chefs to chef you up if you don't close your crusty mouth. One does find that rather offensive. Can one speak to your manager? Deal with it, big man. Man is the manager. You're in man's ends. <laughs> Excuse of me, thy kind astute, who art standing there with thy shining crepes. Wag one of what might thou Manerian want? Wherefore? She be looking length. Wherefore might one locate thou chicken chopper? Doth thy man not clock off that one is assessing thy local single familian on tip? One be if most apologeticus. Man hasn't art never have seen you round of these ends. Thou art visiting one's friend. Friend of an op of be thy op of himself. One is not an op. Shut of up. Why art thou getting vexed? Is one aware of whom one is and to whom one chat of shit to? One's intentions were never of to cause thy trouble. Merely to discover the latitude and longitude of a certain form of nutrition, more specifically chicken of. Return of to thy ends from whence thy dusty astutest hath comest from. What about chicken? Does man have a will for man to bust of out thy shank? One hardly thinks that would be necessary. And man didn't clock it, so man like Romeo chefed himself, tripping that Juliet was dead when she ack wasn't. Thou art the academes. What's man like Shakespeare implying with this? Who can tell man? Yes, my man with the blue drip. Ra, is this guy sleeping? Yes. Clap man's head with a book, I beg you. Fiddle sticks and teapot! He told me to do that. Think you can just take naps in man's lesson? One certainly does not think this, Professorus. And what did Shakespeare imply still when man said thou art the academe? Or so perhaps Shakespeare was implying that Juliet is an object. Man like Julie is an object, yeah? Objectifying women, is that the thing you're on? No, no, sir, not at all. An object of education so Romeo could learn something from her. Man's waffling differently. One strongly believes this is the case, sir. This dickhead. You know what? Go back to sleep. Just see man after the lesson. So, as man was saying, Romeo and Juliet. But, sir, one would like to attend. Hi, are you Mr. Mr. Chappie? Man is indeed. Take a seat, Missy. Man can feel them energies. Really? No. So how have you been feeling lately? Um, great. I'd actually say I'm really happy with where my life's heading. Oh, what's this? This says you ain't happy. Well, I actually am feeling. Listen, no need to bullshit, man. No, I swear. Did I... your dog die? What? No. Boyfriend cheated on you. No. Your dad left. No. Excuse me. I'm really. Oh ha shit! This from the other deck. Man's bad. Right. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, the emperor. That means your boyfriend thinks you have mad bunda. I don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a clue what you're doing, do you? Actually, man knows exactly what man's doing. Shuffling cards, chatting shit about them and getting paid. Can I have some proper readings, please? Fam, we both know you just came here hoping man's gonna tell you that the love of your life is coming back into your life next week. Man's got a news slash for you. He ain't coming back. Well, I know. He's dead. He passed away six months ago. The devil's son. You're gonna do something bad. Maybe cheat on your ex. Maybe with man. Oh. Oh. Wagwan, what are you saying, Theodorus? Good day. So tell man, why do you think man deserves this job? One would consider oneself to have a formidable CV. Right, calm still, but man's already read your CV and it's clapped, I can't lie. Would you say so? Why does one think so? Don't matter, shut up, you dusty ute. Man's got a task for you. One is all ears, old boy. Sell this water bottle to man. Well, one considers it to be rather shiny, rather like your forehead. Aye, that's a vio. Do you want man to chef you up? Wouldn't like that, no, but one considers the way it's shaped rather fascinating. It's rather tall and strong, so maybe it would demonstrate the fact that if one were to drink the water that's in here, one's this body would dickhead. be tall and strong just like the water. So how about this for the slogan? Drink Evian, don't get heavier. It's just a shitty water bottle. Get out of man's crib before man chefs you up. Okay, I'm going to start the recording now. Ayo, chu, B. 3, 2, 1. Ayo, man's not ready. Hello. Oui, oui. Bonjour. Oui, c'est B. Alors, l'année dernière, où est-ce que tu es allé pour les grandes vacances euh, Oui, oui, je m'appelle Roadman et je me suis shank le hops in it. Bon, et euh, dans un restaurant, qu'est-ce que tu aimes manger euh, Man, j'aime le bunda. Non, non, manger comme euh, manger. Oui, oui, le bunda. Et le baguette. Bon, et finalement, qu'est-ce que tu fais sur le week-end euh, Week-end, man's in the, the trap, in it. Uh, man chef ops dans le bando, in it. D'accord. Wagwan B, make yourself comfy. Hi. Nah, not there, don't sit there. That's when man. Uh, sit over there. So tell man, you good, yeah Um, well, no, I'm not. That's sort of why I'm here. Hmm, raw, that's mad. Why are you here then Uh, I've been suffering from PTSD. Your dad left No. Some dusty you cheated on you. No, actually. Oh, you got COVID. No, my dog died. <laughs> So, um, 
Was it a, a French Shepherd? A German Shepherd. No, it wasn't. It was a French Bulldog. Yeah, that's what man said. Yeah, no, he didn't. Fortunately, she died peacefully of old age, but I've really been in pain ever since she's been gone. Did you try paracetamol? What? Paracetamol, like pain relief. Uh, no, as in psychological pain. Ah, yo, Midi! Yes? Have we got anything for psychological pain? Psychological. Well, anything we have would be in here. Cheers, B. We've got shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain. Psychological should be on S here. Now, we ain't got anything, don't, Look, don't worry. It doesn't matter. I'm fine. Well, what do you mean you're fine, you dickhead? Wait, wasting man's time then. Have you seen the state of her body? Mad. Obviously some gal had bunda for days. But look at this next bit. If I beat it, I ain't wearing a Johnny. Who might Johnny be? Yes, man like Isaac. Um, and remember, my drillers, no wrong answers. Well, maybe the fact that he loved her bunda so much that he wanted to beat her up. That could show high levels of jealousy. No, Isaac. Man didn't want to beat her up. He said no wrong yes, answers. Yes, unless it's complete idiocy. <laughs> what might man mean with I ain't wearing a Johnny? Yes, Isaac, again. Well, if he wanted to beat her up, maybe a Johnny is a balaclava to cover his identity so he doesn't go to prison. Man's not trying to beat her up, Isaac. Anyone else? Johnny could be another man that the gal was cheating on him with. Mm, next. Adiola want to roll with the geese. Oh, I know. Yes, Philip. Adiola could be the girl with mad bunda and she wants to roll a spliff with a Johnny who's the geezer from a local pub. Yeah, but why would she want to roll a spliff with him if she's yeah, cheating? Yeah, but if she's cheating all right, on him, that man, would explain all... why he wants to beat her up as well. <laughs> That's enough. Final line. Is it me or the lifestyle, <laughs> sweetheart? Well, if he was jealous of her body and wanted to beat her up, maybe his lifestyle- Man did not want to beat her up, you useless piece of snot! <laughs> Good day. What are you saying, G? You good, yes? One hasn't been feeling the greatest in recent times. Rah! Times. Man can't lie. Man's looking hella clapped, you know. That's rather offensive. Don't come in man's ends acting like some next snowflake. Man up, you dusty youth. Uh, okay. And beauty sleep is hard to come by these days anyhow. Whatever. Big man ting, what do you want? Uh, one has had the most frightful headache for three days now. Has man tried popping some pillies? Uh, one has taken some paracetamol. So what do you want man to do? One needs help, kind well, sir. You're right about that, my G. Do you want man to bust you some stronger ones still? Yes, please. That would be good. Man has to warn you though, them ones there could knock you out still. Yes, I'll <laughs> Chatting bear shit. Hey, yo, boss man, what are you saying? Where's man going for the testing still? Ah, right, come, cheers, boss. Yeah, 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 other way. I don't piss man off, you know. It says on sign, you stupid. Burn your signs, you dickhead. Hey, yo, what are you saying? Don't oh, hi. Just some quick procedures. Sam, can you chill? Okay, all done. Can you just pop your trousers down for me, please? Are you mad? I'm just joking, don't worry. You weirdo. Let me find your documents here. <gasps> Ah, there we go. ITD trap. Yeah, yeah, from the bando out on the ops too. Right, shut up. Do you have any experience in having things shoved up your uh, nose? Oh yeah, like every day, fam. Great, it shouldn't be a problem. Then. I know, I'm joking. There we go, you might just feel a little sting. I chill, man, it's joking, you know. <laughs> Are you flipping me, <laughs> man? <laughs> Is this your ball? Yeah, no, no, he's a ball. Who kicked it, fam? <laughs> How many balls do you have? <laughs> don't be smart with man because you won't have any balls if you don't watch it. Last chance, make sure that bull don't come anywhere near man again. Aye, fam, what are you doing? Sorry. Can man not get five minutes peace in this place? I, I, I don't see any <laughs> Hey, Calm as a beach, darling. <sighs> this dickhead fans. Don't you turn your back on me! Where's your nose up, bro? <laughs> What's funny, fam? I want you to look at me when I kill you. Fam, I can't. It stinks around here, you know. <laughs> Too bad you can't smell it. I man can help you. I don't need your help. <sighs> Alright, first exercise, push-ups. Any cheating, you know what's coming. Yeah! Man didn't say to go yet. But I can't lie, darling, you look like you could do with a push-up or two. And man ain't on about the exercise. <laughs> Alright, who wants to demonstrate the perfect push-up? Yeah, you. Einstein wasn't really known for his physique, but yeah, let's see it. Man don't know what you man been watching on the internet, but it definitely ain't Joe Wick's fitness. Listen up! Like this, straight body, no twerking, no humba bumba bumba tumba, just down and up. Yes, my G, show it. How to interview a member of public for any UK news show. Introduce the main topic of the day and choose from three different categories. Death, depression or hospitals. And proceed to head over to your correspondent who is on Trafalgar Square. 
begin by stating that you are reporting live from Trafalgar Square with a member of public who has a very passionate view on the subject. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Bilambo! And how would you say the current situation has affected your mental and physical health? It's fucking shit! We apologise for any offensive language you may have heard there. And final question, uh, D. Bando. B. Rambo, uh, you stupid chat! Uh, B. Rambo, very well. Uh, would you say this country can see a brighter future? It's always been shit and it's always going to be shit! Well, everyone has their own opinion and end the interview by stating your name and the time, even though absolutely nobody asked. I'm Margaret Crumpets. That was ITD News at 10. Hey fam, what the fuck do you want? Uh, a Merry Christmas? Fam, man don't know what you slapped in that dusty sack, but if it ain't Kim Kardashian, man's not interested. <laughs> Flipping neck though, big man. You could do with a diet, you know. Don't make me put you on the naughty list. Man's a bad man. You don't know what life man's about. I know if you've been bad or good. <laughs> Ayo, now where did he come from? How many of you man is there? Uh, only me, the elf, and seven or eight reindeers. Bruh, where's the reindeer? On the roof. Get out, fam. Man's got business in the morning. So you don't want a mince pie? No, fam. Yesterday, the government's expert advisory group... Man said expert advisors. Order! Everything's in order, boss. Man's just saying that expert and government don't really go in the same sense. I couldn't give a flying flamingo what your view is. <laughs> this dickhead. You know who man is? What this country needs... It's definitely not you. ...is sensible... Also not you. Order! ...progressive, conservative government... Order! How do you expect man to take you seriously when my man is munching on his boogers behind you? Order! Thank you very much indeed. Ayo, let Shanice speak. This sort of premature parliamentary ejaculation that has passed the line. She's like, Ayo, she violated you, no. I'm tempted to say to the Honourable Lady, if she looks carefully, I think she'll see that I'm not capable of a parliamentary ejaculation. Ayo, <laughs> Ayo, man's gone. B2 Sav. Yeah, yeah. J2 Trappy. Walk, walk. Okay, now that's all you man here today. Hey, young man needs to bust a shite, I can't lie. Man said bust a shite, you had the whole of lunch, my driller. Man really needs it! Whatever, get your bunda out of here. Right, today we're going to be looking at some inspiring youths from history. What, like drillers and shit? Well, not quite drillers, but some big men like kings and that. Check out man like Henry VIII. Man had seven wives. But he's not even leng. Well, the gal then rated him for his peas, innit? Jeez! Now, next up, Leonardo da Vinci. Man painted the most famous painting of his gal. Why is her drip so clapped? Well, back in in them days, this was worth more than any Gucci drip any of you dusty utes rep now. Man wouldn't give a hundred V-Bucks for that. Be <laughs> this ute, man discovered grip. Man's grim, you know. <laughs> what about it? It's safe to say he didn't have any wives. <laughs> That's the last time you man shouted anything out loud. Hey, hey you, you, want you want beef, beef yeah? yeah? You want beef, yeah? You're trying to get shit. <laughs> Hurry up, quick, quick, come in, let's go. Man's not trying to be here all day, innit? <laughs> Hey, yo, big man, go shut the door, I beg you. Anyone who mentions the game last night will earn themselves a one-way ticket to heaven. So you'll not be coming home, yeah? Mamma mia, I'm just a joke. Man, don't care, because if you don't shut your mouth, a man's going to be coming home to your mamma mia. So, let's do some recap from last lesson. Numbers. Repeat after man. Zero. Zero. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. And a sentence using the number three. Yeah, go on. If it's a number of penalties missed by England. <laughs> Aye, that's it. Aye, yo, what on? So basically, you man sent some next video of man's best moments from 2020. So man's gonna be reacting to that still. Good evening. Well, it's your favorite president. Raw. Back when my man used to be president, you know. Man's just a dusty you now, you know. Aye, yo, what we got then? A crocodile. It's blended crocodile anus. Aye, no, that was clap when Anton Dick made man drink crocodile bunda smoothie. After the show, man sorted them out, you know. Fucking hell, fam, man needs a pay rise. 20p per crib, man was paid, and man didn't even get a pay rise. Wagwan, my drillers. The virus is pissing man off still. Bear man are getting smoked. So it leaves man no choice but to slap on stronger lockdown rules. Man has never seen Great Britain in such shit still. Bear dusty utes are out on motives, even though man already said you must stay at home. Man said yesterday, man saw a gal with her man. He was clapped, I can't lie. But he got caught lacking, and the feds sorted him out. So the new rule is, open your door and man will snipe you.
Hi, I'm on the way to my job interview and I can barely talk. Yeah, man, can Yeah, and help. I've got this guy. Oh, my God, that's probably my boss. What am I going to do? Give I can't man, man, I'll tell him it's a medical urgency. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, yo, listen up. This is the pharmacy, yeah? Man's here with... Fatipides. For Tiffany. She's bare ill, so man needs to give her medicine and that to make sure she ain't drooling boogers. So she's gonna be late to your interview. Hopefully that's calm. If not, you can take your interview and shove it up your bunda and you'll never see her again. Hiya, it's Auntie Belinda. I just wanted to let Fatipides know I've got a new number and I want to ask if she wants to come over for tea tonight. Uh, she wants to kill you. Oh, no, no. Uh, she says it's not her. <laughs> can I just please have my medicine? No problem, darling. Free of charge. <laughs> What? No, I'm not coming. I can't talk. Oh, that's a shame. We were going to offer you the job. Never mind. Best of luck for your future. Wagwan, Wagwan, what are you saying? Jeez, this is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard man's hard jet big flying bus still. Man's got to be honest, the weather's looking hella clapped today and you might have to bust out the oxygen mask if you're not trying to get smoked during your journey aboard man's airbus. Um, excuse me, kind lady. Wagwan, my driller. Why does the captain state that we might perish? Oh, don't stress it. Man's just chatting shit still. Right, understood. Can man get you some munch or something? Uh, how many great British pounds for a bottle of Mountain H2O? It's 24 racks still, my G. No? Well, just holler at man if you want to ask anything else. Under your bunda is the oxygen mask, and there's also a shank above your head in case Karen behind you asks you to put your window down. <sighs> also, if you're going to bust a shite, I beg you, man, open the window. Good day, kind sir. What are you saying, G? Uh, one would like to present an issue that one has come across. Sam, get on man's bus or piss off. Uh, one may have forgotten one's oyster card. Oh, not another dusty ute. Could you just let one enter the bus just this once? Big man ting, you're starting to piss man off. Do you have a bank card? No, sorry, old boy. Are you calling man old? No. Man's the bus driver in these ends, fam. S sorry, I... Are you trying to get chef coming on man's bus with your clapped drip? No, Trying to finesse no. man's service and that? No, one does not. Shut up, get on the bus. If the feds come, man's snaking you still. Wagwan back to man's nah, talk show. Let's get this done. Fat man hasn't even introduced Sorry, you yet. Oh, did you want me to leave and come back in? Yes, Bob, get out. <laughs> well tough. Yeah, yeah. Get out, you dickhead. Chucky in the dark. Right, so, is this what you young boys do these days? Oh, well, you know, just sit around and chat. No, it's a talk show. Well, back in my day, we used to socialise. You know, go outdoors. You know. If you don't shut up, man's gonna tell you what we young youths do indoors. Oh, like what? Video games and drugs. You don't know this life, big man. What, you think you're hard yet? Do you know who man is? Actually, I haven't got a clue from Man is ITD Chucky from North Ends, fam. Thank you for your details. We'll see you in court tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't that what you call us? Yeah, feds and pigs. Why do you invite pigs on your talk show? I thought your standards were better than that. Well, no way. I'm only joking. I'm not a policeman. This is just my over 60s bus. Hey, you're taking piss. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wagwan, you dust utes, bus man, your homeworks, they should all be done still. Sir, one has completed the homework. Say less, my G. But one's dog consumed it this morning by process of ingestion. Man said his dog munched on his homework. There's really nothing one Shut up. Man's gonna slap you in detention. But sir, one has tennis practice after school. You think man gives a shit about you and some other dusty utes batting balls around some next field? Well, no, I... You'll be lucky if man don't bat your balls. But that would be kind of fruity, I can't lie. <laughs> yes, sir. Bus man, a hundred lines right now. What does one write? Man is a dusty ute and man won't ever get caught lacking again still. Sir, that statement makes no grammatical sense. What? <laughs> What are you saying, big man? Good day, kind sir. How can man help? One would like to withdraw a large sum of money today. Say less, my G. How much peas are we talking? A withdrawal of 50,000 Great British Pounds. Right, is that you? Yeah, with M's in your account and that. Uh, not quite, kind sir. Why do you need so much peas, fam? One would like to make a deposit on a new property. Let man just get man's colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet, this, this ute here wants to get out 50 racks, and I can't lie, it's kind of sus. Oh, yeah, be careful, man doesn't try finesse the No, bank. old boy, one doesn't want to rob the bank. You weren't supposed to hear that, you dusty ute. So what should I tell him? One would like a 50,000 no, you dickhead. How are you calling man a dickhead? Man's your boss. No, no, man wasn't talking to you, chief. Oh, okay, work it out. Useless prick. Where do you work, man? Man heard that. You've just lost your job, my guy. Good evening. In the latest headlines, Donald Trump causes a stir as he posts a snap story with Boris Nonsense, asking him for tips on weight loss, despite being banned from all social media. Shanice has the latest. Here we are at the scene of the crime. Not two meters behind me, the British President and the US Prime Minister sat over a coffee and exchanged 079s. Boris Johnson will later be given a...
Wagwan. Man is sick and tired of being fat. So man hollered my boy, man like Trump. But we got caught lacking. To prevent further mishaps. You must stay at home. Wait, I know, you stay chatting shit. Word, you this oh my god. Fan. Oh shit! Musical chairs. Three, two, one, go. Everyone cover. Pull that musical chairs though. Get your bundle over here. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for all you man for coming. There's drinks and food on. Make it help my presence. If you don't shut up, the only presence you're getting is the presence of man's foot on your face. <laughs> Who invited Einstein? <laughs> Alright, whatever. So as man was saying. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry, I'm late. Go on, in, in, go, like, go, go. Fam, what is this? Santa Claus is grotto. Oh, I'm so sorry. We got stuck in. Did you knock? Uh, no, the back door was open. Would you like man to enter your back door without knocking? <sighs> no. And man definitely wouldn't let the kids in either. <laughs> okay, so what can I get you? Fam, look at man's skull. I'm looking. It's clapped, fam. Man's mom's the boss man's on dead lockdown trip. You need to fix it so man can get some gandam at the disco next week. Oh, school disco. Yeah, he's really excited. Wants to find himself a girlfriend. Why are you man making it sound wet? Well, we need to wet your hair a bit, make it easier to sort out, yeah? Yeah, whatever, just hurry up, because man needs to be out in the band hall tonight at 10. You ain't gonna be out anywhere at 10, it's your bedtime at 9. Aye, what do you mean, fam? You've got school tomorrow. What school, cuz? I know! Sounds like no Teletubbies for you tonight, yeah? Man doesn't watch Teletubbies, fam, man's a big man. Balamori? No, man hasn't watched that since man was like 10. So, last year? No, no, since man was like 6, fam. Okay, all done. Aye, that's Leng, my G. Man will boss you some of that good shit when the mumsy's not here, yeah? <laughs> What good shit? <laughs> like V-Bucks! Oh! <laughs> oh, Stacey! What are you doing here? Hi, I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, you better be. Uh, oh, uh, never mind, I'll ask someone else. Why are you coming here wasting man's time like no, that? No, no, I didn't realise you was busy. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll go talk to one of your colleagues. Is it because man looks like a dickhead? No, no, not because of that. So you're saying man looks like a dickhead? No, absolutely not. Hey, man was joking, relax. Oh, <laughs> I'll go find someone else. Is that what your ex-husband said to you? You know what? I'd like to speak to your manager. Man is the manager. What are you going to do now, cuz? <laughs> Mummy, can you buy me this? No, love. Put that away. Oh, but all my friends in school have it. Big man, <laughs> she said no. So get your bunda out of here and put it back where you found it. Otherwise, it's going to be fireworks. <laughs> Hi, is everything okay over here? Oh, shit. How are you? I'm the floor manager, madam. How can I help? Who's he then? He said he was the manager. He was my employee. Unlucky. <laughs> all I wanted to know is where's the rear entrance? What, is that what your husband said to you? <gasps> Why are you encouraging him? Oh, oh. Hey, man, race that comeback still. My guy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Listen, man's gonna treat you today, take you to some Leng restaurant, yeah? It's this mad place. You order the food right in front of the chefs. They make it right in front of you. Oh my god, okay, can't wait to see you. Bye. Right, see you night. In the... Hey, yo, boss man, 10 quid. I'll get a job. Two hours later. I didn't realise you meant Subway when you said get your food in front of the chef, you know. Two six inch sub, six inch what? Your sandwiches, are you paying all together? Nah, nah, separately, boss. <laughs> what? Yeah, man's on a budget still. What do you mean budget? Man got this app called Emma. Aye, who's Emma? It's an app, you dickhead. Tells man everything about man's piece. Tells man how much man's spent, how much man's got, how much is man's budget for the day. Sorts out everything to do with man's piece. And I can't lie, after man linked those other two things this morning, man's only got a fiver left for you, B. You can get the app too. If you press the thing in man's profile bio. I've already got a man, he sorts all my peas out. <laughs> all men are the same. If J2 Trappy has four shanks, but some ops catch him, I don't know. What are you saying, my G? Hello, Professor. One needs help. You need the toilet again? No, no. Man already let you bust a shite like ten minutes ago. How do you need it again, my drill? No, one needs help with the question. Oh, swear down, right? Come one on. is in a serious pickle. What question, my drill? Uh, question 1A. The first question. Yes, sir. If J2 Trappy has four shanks, but some ops catch him lacking and steal three, how many shanks does he have left? Are you brain dead, my guy? No, sir. Well, you need to work out how many shanks man had left. Well, oh, no shit. Uh, no chatting in the exam room. Man's disqualified. Get your bunda out. You remind man who invited you? The kind fellow over there. Morning, G. Ra, are you mad? You good, B. Do you think you're just going to have some chill day just scratching your bunda the whole time? Not at all, man's majesty. So get up and go and do man's bed or some shit. There's bare laundry in there. Say nothing. What has got your knickers in a pickle, might I ask? Being a grandmumsy is long, my G. It's like having two sets of kids. 
as if one wasn't enough. Oh. But it's peak now, the ginger one. He's moving bear mad still. Oh, yes? I might get my cousins on him. I can't even lie. Isn't your husband your cousin? Are you trying to get stampeded by a man's horses? That would be rather painful, Madam Liz. Trust me, G, so don't be chatting shit in men's ends. Understood. Oh, yeah. The ginger is moving map. Mm. He's linking some American things. Oh, golly gosh, that sounds problematic. You haven't heard the worst of it, my dream. No? Ginger's wifey. The American one? Yes. She's having a kid. Oh, congratulations! Man said congratulations. Ayo, what one? Oh, man's just saying, man's not taking no bullshit from you today, Simon, so don't be making no faces like that, yeah. Okay, what's your name? ITD2 Traffy. And why are you here? To show you, man, who's the biggest in Graham, yeah? And how would you mark yourself out of 10? 24. Off you go. Yeah, yeah, ITD2 Traffy and that. When man comes to the house, bear man look like a mouth. Look at your side, man. Bear pre man, let it try wife, man. Louis hairline, look kinda mad, man. More silver than a man's chain. Having chuck weight watchers. Do you know how much this watch was? Bear peas. Fresh okay. whip. Okay. Fam. I thought it was horrendous. Shut up, old man. Are you mad? There's no one out there like man. We all agree with that. Simon, what do you oh, think? Oh, that's a vile, you I know. think it's terrifying, the fact you think that is acceptable. What the f- Fuck you, man. Any of you, man, know about crime. You think this is what the winner of X Factor should be like? Yeah, bruv. We're going to say no. Bun your vote. Man says no to you, man. Yeah, calm. That's light work. Great. And today your priority is large packages. You know man's all about them big packages. <laughs> no try to sound soft. Get out, then. Allow it. Aye, let's have a quick game. Ah, go to the boot and get the parcels out. Mm. Wagwan 12 Trumpville Road. Hello, love. Man's the postman, take your post. Oh, this ain't number 12, this is number. That <laughs> 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 be your score. <laughs> Who's that then? The postman. So, who are you? The postman. Uh, what's he doing? Why are you asking bare questions? Man's playing an addictive game called Mars Dash that you can get by using the Ting in Man's bio. See you later, Karen. My name's Belinda. Hi, my car's randomly broken down. Location? Streffham Hill Road by the corner shop. Say less, my guy, man. It's there in 10 minutes. Man will get that fixed for you quick. Uh, is my car ready yet? Does it look like man's ready? Uh... Yeah, it's ready. Why don't you just jump in for a test drive and man will stay under here, check if everything's in order. Oh, great. Dickhead, okay. man's not being serious. Is there maybe an estimated time left? When was the last time you changed these heat exchangers, big man? Heat exchange... Man will take that as a never. So you managed to find the problem? Yeah. And it's standing right in front of man. I've had enough of you. Man's had enough of you, fam, and your dusty whip. What do you mean? Are you going to fix this? Oi! What now? Oh, no. Hurry up. Nine, six, eight, six, seven, two. Man ain't got all date. Dennis, Shanice, Mike Oxlong, Masturbator, whatever that means. Who's Mike, though? Mike Oxlong. Ah, <laughs> uh, you might think you're bare funny, you know. Act. There ain't no Joe in here. Who's Joe, fam? Joe, mama. <laughs> Alright, whatever. First question, let's go. Hurry up. Nice and easy to start off with. Whose flag is this? Quick, quick final answers, let's go. Alright, let's see it. Aye, nah, nah, nah. Who put C? Who put C? Mike, by any chance? Man's ox obviously ain't that long at all. Let's go, next one. Aye, nah, nah. Man swears to God, if you man get this wrong, someone's getting their bunda kicked out of this place. Your mama didn't teach you much at all, did she? Oh, she did! She's gonna teach man a couple things when man comes to your ends tonight, you know. Stratford, innit? Who told you that? Your mama. <laughs> yeah, what do you want, fam? Um, this year, maybe. What are you getting? Um, I'm sick and tired of you dusty youths every night who were 16 when Covid broke out and now that everything's open again, you man are 18 and you just come in man's ends and waste man's time. What Yo, sorry, mate. There's literally hardly any vodka in here. It's literally just straight up juice, You're mate. gonna be straight juice on the floor if you don't get out of man's face. Oh, hi, can I get two bone-dry martinis, please? For you, darling, anything on house. Hi, are you alright? Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, it's the kindness for me. Uh, could we just get two of those as well, please? Actually? Sure, yeah. Yeah. You know that's hundred percent ethanol, yeah. Mate, we can handle it. <laughs> all right, Come see, on. mate. Alright, so behind man, as you can see, Hampton Court Palace. This is where man like Henry VIII used to live. Who can tell man one random fact about Big Man H? <laughs> yeah, Einstein. He had six wives, Catherine Ball, Catherine Howard, yeah, and... Yeah, okay, we get the points, Mark. Um, sorry, could you just be a bit easier on them? They're only small and they've just... Would you like to be the tour guide? Well, no. Exactly, I... so shut up and do what you do best. Stand there in silence. So yeah, that's right, man like Henry VIII had... Bare wifeys, and his first gal was actually married to his brother. <laughs> yeah, so it was a bit of a sticky one still. 
Not like that, fam. Anyway, when man died, he act died with minus... With minus two million shillings. Bruh, bare smart asses over here. Do you want to come up here? Yeah! Shut up! <laughs> right, that's been Aye. enough. Man's got a book to spare if need be. That's what man thought. So, any questions? Does Henry VIII still live there? Do you want to go see man like Henry VIII right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> it's posty, the mask on the Posty, posty, man, don't know what you're saying. Aye, no face, no case, innit? Molim vas pustite masku, inače ću da pozovem policiju. Feds! Yes! Merci, senor. My G. Za tebi nije vruće, dečko. Čuješ me? Wo? Eh, kad se ja bila mala, mi smo znali pričo, da ne stalo. E, oprostite, ja mislim da ste u svijetu. Ja, musli, kren vi si endolo, kaj man nok get two minutes. Woman, what do you want? I think you have wrong chair. Fam, there's literally a free chair right there. Pardon, karta, molim vas. Oh, my days, fam. A ticket, yes. Aj, one sec, man's got e-ticket, innit? E-e, karta, karta, on telefoni, oui, oui. Uh, Marsh Ukurat. Huh. Margaret, you don't smooth. Man's name's not Margaret. How to announce tighter national lockdown restrictions for any UK news show. Begin with imagery of padlocks and shutters and explain that since there is nothing left to shut, the new measures will allow the government to watch you on your toilet to ensure that no more than three sheets of toilet paper are used as the stocks reach an all time critical low. Have the Prime Minister give a speech where he states that there is hope that Britain could be COVID free by April. Even though I said the exact same thing 10 years ago. And finish with a correspondent holding a giant stick giving a socially distanced interview to a civilian that's not even in camera shot. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News. Wagwan, take a seat. <clears throat> so man's got your papers and shit here. I can't even lie, it's bear long. Man could be arcs reading it, so just tell man. How comes you picked man's uni still? Well, first and foremost, the facilities are truly exclusive. Actually, you know what? Spare man the bullshit. Man knows you're here for the Galdem. No, sir. Educate Different question. Why us? Why not the Cambridge Utes? Oh, one did indeed apply for them as well. You're telling man you applied for the op boys and had the audacity to show your dusty face in man's ends? Oh, well, one has to keep one's options open. Say less, my G. Now, has your dad got bare peas? Uh, why is this relevant, kind sir? Sir, man left for the milk and never came back. No, sir. Listen, Ooh. man's gonna be straight up with you. You dress like a dusty ute. You're not nearly upper class enough for us posh mandem. Man's not gonna bust you the offer still. Sir, with all due respect, you haven't even looked at one's personal statement. One has to keep one's options open. <sighs> well, Guan, you man ready to order, yeah? Yes, could I get for a you start? You can get whatever you want. What's the point in asking, man, could I get this and could I get that? It's the dumbest thing, and man hears it like 64 times a day. It's simple. You tell man what you want, man tells the chef to cook it up, and you bust man the pee. Right, okay, get me the sausage. What do you mean, get me? Are you being rude to man? Are you mad? You just hey, said, man's just messing with you. Relax, oh, what do you want? We'd like to order the same thing. The roast cooked sausages a la van a la insulata de la burra mamacita da mista. So you want sausages with lettuce? Um, this. Carmen, is it right if man busts you the bill straight away? We got bare dusty eats in the restaurant. Today. Um, yeah. Well, listen, whether you like it or not, you ain't got a choice. There you go, miss. Oh, I, I'm paying. Nah, bro, relax. It's 2021, big man. What's this? The receipt. There's a phone number on here, not a price. Big man, that is the price. Free meal, but man gets the gal. She can write man a review and tell man how was the sausage if you get me. Free meal? Yeah, bro. <sighs> like fully, everything free. Bro, I got you. <sighs> That's it, man's gone. So what? Oh. How to give a vaccination news broadcast for any UK news show. Start with top secret laboratory footage of medical experts hard at work on a vaccination that for many families will make it a merrier Christmas. Proceed to interview a member of public who has taken the vaccination only a few days ago to ensure the general public that it is, in fact, safe. And finish by standing in front of the very building the vaccination was produced and examined and talk in the most depressing voice possible to demonstrate your enthusiasm that many lives are going to be saved. Margaret Crumpets, ITD News. Ayo, Wagwan, man's here to be a Jedi master, innit? So let's just get that done, yeah? Why are you man just looking at man like that? Now is not the time for this. Fam, don't chat shit, just make man a master. You are on this council. I am my man, respect that. But we do not grant you the rank of master. Are you mad? Do you want man to boss out man's shank? Take a seat. That's it, you dickhead. <laughs>
We want some of this smoke, yeah? It's settled then. Yeah? Alright, so we've been through the basics. Last lesson, let's just do some recap. How do we say hello? One, one, one. one. <laughs> British. One more dose, man's gonna kick you out there like a soccer ball. What about how are you? What, what are you saying? Come, alright, so today we're gonna be moving on to a bit of grammar, like pronouns. In the English language, there's only one pronoun. Man. 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 I never asked you to repeat that. So, one pronoun. Man, for everything. Man is wearing a grey hoodie. Man is the teacher. Man ain't supposed to be chewing gum in man's lesson. So we move What up. about if I'm not a man? You're still man. I'm not a man though. Oh my days, it don't matter. Alright, Nick. Hi, sorry class, could I just pop uh, miss? Is it true that man is the only pronoun in the English language? That is absolutely not true and extremely misogynistic. Mr. Trappy, this is very inappropriate. Sam, it's UK English. Forget me on genetic. Man is Hey, is that you? Yeah, miss, with that big back still. This was your second and last day on this job. Please report to my office immediately. Right to you, man. Listen up. Quick, somebody tell man a random scientist. Albert Einstein. Respect, my driller. And who can name a random fact about man? Uh, apparently, he thought mass, you know. Yeah, that's a myth, my G. <laughs> and you silly boy. Uh, shut up. Alright, relax, you man. Anyway, after man died, some utes went in man's coffin and stole man's brain. <laughs> that's what they're gonna do to me. Yes, maybe to see what went wrong. Why would they steal his brain, bro? Let's just say nobody's gonna try and steal your brain after you die. I what? Bro, do you want to get ching, bro? Oh, shut up. Next. Man like Elon Musk. He's a scientist, no? Yes, and also very uncommonly known, he's an actor. What kind of actor? Man had acting roles in The Simpsons and The Big Bang Theory. Man wouldn't mind doing the acting with a penny, you know? Well, no <laughs> teacher. Big Bang, you know. Oh, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> let's not go off topic. Finally, man like Stephen Hawking. How many Big Bangs did man have? Well, man did have a wifey for time, and they was truly in love. I, I respect that. Yeah, until he cheated on her with his nurse. His nurse? Yep. Was she at least a lengthen? She was just after his peas, my driller. He's a silly boy. Ah. Alright, two main positions to work on today. First up, downward doggy. Who wants to demonstrate? Yes, my lovely, let's see it. Perfect, everyone like that. Hurry up, man's not waiting for the grass to grow. Get that nice stretch in that Bundus Maximus. Loosen up the hammies, release the inner energies, you get that. Alright, now everyone get up. Pray in mantis position. Hey, yo, darling, what's your name? Me? No, the gal standing behind you. Obviously Ooh. you fam, what's your name? Riley. Try and like press your hands nice into your chest to feel them inner energies inside you like really hard into the center of your chest. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Ayo, who told you to chill? <laughs> breathe in now. And breathe. Ayo, one sec. Ayo, what are you saying, B? Who did you leave these socks and pants for all over the place? Yeah, don't worry, man. Aye, it's the rudeness for me, you know, period. I'm so done with you and your mess. You know? yeah, uh, woo, what? What a shame. Dickhead. Hey, who told you, man, to relax? You know what? Can I say you do downward dog? Man, would do doggy for you anytime, darling. Oh. Wagwan, do you need man to bust you a bag? Uh, no, one has these recyclable carrier bags. Thank you, kind sir. Big man, are those Sainsbury's things? Yes, one does one's grocery shopping in a variety of different shops. Do you know what ends you're in blood? Uh, one believes this is weight rolls if one's not mistaken. Man's not serious. One doesn't search for trouble. Do you think man's going to be scanning your dusty munch and just letting you use those op boy bags and just get away with it? Uh, yes, one would like to do so. This dickhead. My man, come closer to man. Are you trying to get chefed? To state that one is trying to do anything other than complete one's grocery shopping would be a lie. Man, we'll let you off this once. Thank you very much, kind sir. How is man paying still? Uh, just by card, please. Aye, now, nah, man's taking the piss! Hi, are you P.T. Trappy? I'm Sam, I have a session booked with you today. You are not Sam. I, I am, actually. Are we still going ahead with the session oh. today? Uh, is everything okay? Let's just say man was expecting Samantha, not Samwise Gamgee. Oh. And man's session plan. Well, let's just say we might need to change an exercise or two. Oh, that's not a problem at all. It's a very big problem, cuz. Okay, okay, should I start on the treadmill To first? be honest with you, big man, you should have started on the treadmill like five years ago. I can't even lie. Uh, I'm sorry, but... Shut up and take these things. This is one. Ching, 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 bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bless man's shanks. Excuse me. I always say B. Yo, what? Like oh, jeez. Do you mind uh, if I just finish my set? Yeah, listen. I, yo, um, 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 a man left a uh, man's towel here, innit? Oh, it? I ain't saying it. What, your second eyebrow? No, the towel. Excuse me. I don't worry. Where are your biceps at, then? Hey, what? Are you mad? Man can lift like five times as much as you have there. Go on, then. Hey, <laughs> what are you laughing at, fam? Leave him alone. Or what? Back in man's day, man used to run 8 second 100 meters in the Olympics. Didn't you say Bolt finished the world record in like 9.5 seconds? Did it your mum finish in like 5 seconds? <laughs> Something funny, Benji. <laughs> or you want man to violate your marge as well? My mum died 3 years ago.
Go for a lap, you need to be back here in 20 seconds or you're doing it again. <laughs> Everybody, let's go, high knees all together. Ronda, get them knees higher. <laughs> Hopefully that'll teach you. Did man tell you to stop? We're tired, you know. Alright then, this week your homework is to film video proof of you doing a workout on the Running Coach app. The best thing to get fit fast, lose weight, get ripped, hot girl summer, anything like that. What proof it? do we have to bring? Everything. The distance, pace, elevation, GPS, tracker, calories, burn, everything. Okay. Get it by clicking the thing on man's profile. Benji, that is 22 <laughs> seconds. Take your team for another lap. <sighs> Right, calm. Take that dusty drip off your head, my G. Would that really be necessary, sir? I'll just get it off your head, my G. Golly gosh. Bruh, that's peak, I can't lie. So how can man help, uh... apart from sorting out this madness chicken nest? I would like to dye my hair ginger, please. <laughs> Why would you want that, my guy? One has a date with a female tonight, sir. She says she only goes for guys who look fire. Say less, my G. Man will make you look fire. Don't you worry, my guy. Splendid. Which one would you like to go for, my driller? Uh, orange, sir. Say less. I'll just be doing this for a bit and then you just chill your bunda now, relax for two hours, yeah? What in Philip's teapots is that? This fire needs to sit for two hours, my driller. Two hours later. Man wishes you good luck tonight. Man says you look so fire she won't even be able to look at you, my driller. 